Hey, today we have a special guest, my brother in arms, probably the greatest porno star in the world. Wow. The legend, <laughs> the icon, Peter motherfucking North. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome. What's up, brother? I haven't seen you forever. I know, huh? What's up, man? It's been a long time. Yeah. What's up? What have you been up to? How you been? That's quite an introduction. Huh? That's the facts. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a long time. I just, you know, venturing into different things, so, you know, yeah. got some different things going. And here's, here's the crazy thing. Is that you, I mean, the, people got to know that today a miracle happened. Peter North beat me to the set. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the story. That's that's what you got to be telling Jim at his birthday. Right? Oh my God! You know, I want to say, you know, that that's an inside joke. But how many people you think directors you think you gave heart attacks to? <laughs> oh, they're waiting for you. Um. Yeah, a few of them. <laughs> I, I, I the numbers up there somewhere. Probably about. Uh, I don't know, probably about 15, 16, 20, 17, you know, something like that. <laughs> yeah. What was the latest you ever showed up? Uh, I'm thinking it may be like two or three hours. No, oh, come on. Man. That, <laughs> 10 it hours. Be, it could be. I'm, I'm way no. down, I'm way down in the yeah. south of Orange County. You know, I, at the time I was down in South Orange County, so that was huh. even further away. So four yeah. hours maybe, right? Yeah. I mean, that's like, you know, yeah. I, I mean, it could, the thing is, there's, there's, you know, people that w went to the set on time, like Shawn Michaels and stuff like that. And he, he got kind of like, uh, he got realized that he didn't get to start working until like a few hours later. And so my call time was so early. I just like, you know, I know they're not going to need me right away. So I'm like, you know, just, and then there's traffic and I don't try, I, I don't actually try to be late, huh? but you know, when you got that far distance to go and that much traffic, you don't know what's going to happen. So, That's true. And yeah. I, I used to live Redondo, and coming up was pure hell. Yeah. I think yeah. I had a heart attack one time because I jumped out of my car, <laughs> ran down the freeway trying to kill somebody because <laughs> I'm stuck. I, I can see that. I can see you ah! doing that. Yeah. Right way back in 94, yeah. I was yeah. already pissed off at my uh, girl. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, the, the thing is, uh, uh, I remember uh, someone we used to call, uh, some of the uh, uh, directors used to call, uh, be on the phone, they asked me, where are you at? <laughs> To, to get a gauge on like if I'm like just you know how close I really am because okay. I tell them I'm closer than I am you and know, you're still at home I'm the, close <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, that, yeah so that time I was like just making uh, calling in and just kind of keeping keeping them see see what was going on see how far away they were from yeah. needing me to you know shoot yeah we know the truth the truth is that sometimes I waited six hours before I was up oh, yeah seven hours yeah, yeah. I think maybe even eight hours man you know but Whatever. But, you know, the, here's the real truth is, if they didn't have the Master Blaster in their movie, it would drop at least two levels down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, that, that's my claim to fame, you know? Well, I mean, you know, you're a good-looking guy, a big dick, you know, and you came in shape always, right? Never yeah. higher and messed up like yeah, some of the people we yeah, know, exactly. right? Yeah. And you came with, um, you know, the... What do you call that? The fire hose? <laughs> hose them down? Yeah, beer can, fire hose. Yeah. You know, different, different. Uh, yeah, somebody called you the beer can? Yeah, Jim South gave me that name. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> I beer love can. that guy. Yeah, he's great. All right, so some people might know, you know what I mean? But can you tell me where you're from? East coast of uh, Canada, actually, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Grew up playing ice hockey and all that kind of stuff and never thought. I, I, I actually, Hold on. I got a lot of questions for you. <laughs> before I ever came to the United States, I have never, I have never, never seen a, uh, an adult movie. Wow. Well, okay. I, I never seen an adult movie. Really? Yeah. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was, it was actually kind of illegal at the time. Was it? We're thinking uh, like 82, you know, in 82. Yeah. And and they and they started just to filter in after I came down after I came to the uh -huh. states, yeah. So, so you're from Nova Scotia. I'm gonna go down, you know, just try and get a feel of who yeah. and where you came from. Yeah, you know, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. you want to get, you know, because come on, man, 
people need to know or they like to know. People yeah. probably want to know. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, people I, come up to me a lot and they, start, they ask me some questions here and there and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, so, so I want to know. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I know that I grew up different. Yeah. So, you know, you grew up in Nova Scotia, mm-hmm. right? What kind of home did you come from? A high class? What was your mother and father working? Middle class. My, both my father and mother worked, so it was a middle class home. Um, my father, uh, my mother was like the one that came to my hockey games, my baseball games, all the sporting events I did, because I was t- very much into sports, and then at 17 got into cars, you know, so I was into uh, muscle cars at, the th- at 17. But uh, my father, ba- he, he was your basic alcoholic. Really? Yeah, so, he was an alcoholic, so he, there wasn't a, a strong connection with, with my father, but my mother, tight as could be. So, yeah. so a big influence from your mother? Yeah, absolutely. She was sweet. I, I've got a lot of her uh, genetics. Yeah. yeah. Your father didn't have your genetics? No, I don't have any genetics from my father, because my, my mother was 5'6", uh, uh, my father was 5'6". Wow. And uh, thank God you got a little, tall, a little height on you. My mother had dark hair and blue eyes. She did. I didn't get the blue eyes. I was pissed off because I didn't get the blue eyes. <laughs> I got him. But uh, um, I'll trade you with the with a cannon. Yeah. So I, there's other gene, other genetics I got like as far as like the long orangutan arms and, <laughs> and uh, um, vascularity. Even before I started working out, everybody was saying you know, really? how to get. I was embarrassed when I was a kid to wear short sleeve shirts. Really? Because none of the other kids had like. You know, you veins, like a, veins popping, you know, because I had th- thin skin like my mother and they had veins popping and stuff like that. So it was kind of like, it was weird to me. So I, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I felt a little embarrassed wearing short sleeve shirts sometimes. Wow. Huh. So, um, I mean, you look kind of like a bodybuilder. <laughs> no, I've lost about 14 pounds. Uh, first, first of June, I think I was about 194. I think I'm one under 180 right now because I, I took, I'm taking some time off from working out. Because yeah. I, I got like a little, uh, some kind of tendon injury that I can't even do uh, leg press. So I'm, I, I said, I'm just going to shut it down for a little bit. Like I think people should do that work out on a regular basis. Shut it down, give your body a rest, eat whatever you want to eat. Cheesecake, <laughs> you know, Gary Deli chocolate squares with caramel in them, all that stuff. I, was, uh, I love I love my desserts. I, I, yeah, I like yeah. sugar too. Yeah. I like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, cinnamon roll is awesome, yeah. Uh, so there's so many different variations of cinnamon rolls, you know what I mean, yeah. the way people make them. Yeah. Because Cinnabons makes them soft and great and creamy, but somebody yeah. else can make them, and they're even better. It's very strange yeah. Yeah. if you like cinnamon, yeah. cinnamon rolls. I love cinnamon. I put uh. cinnamon in my oatmeal every morning. <laughs> yeah. I love cinnamon. Yeah. So your father, what did he do? For a living? My father, he 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 was a provider. He was a good he, provider. He 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 worked. Uh, he worked in different uh, different jobs, but he's always he was always working. So, um, but he uh, he uh, liked his alcohol, and he had buddies come over, and he, it was a, it was a place to stop over, you know, at uh, our place type of thing. And he had like his area that he would go and hang with his his buddies type of thing. You well, know, so. What did he do? You said he, well, he did different. He did different jobs. He worked for. Uh, more or less uh, uh, labor kind of yeah. jobs, construction so, or yeah, something. Yeah, so he he was uh, he was a provider. You can't say he was lazy or anything like that. You know, was he tough? Um, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> so he was a nice drunk, or he was. Mm, not, well, I, I, he was he was nice to his friends and stuff like that, but you know he wasn't uh, great to us. You know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he, he can whoop your ass. Oh no. No? Yeah. <laughs> you would have whooped this house. I mean, my, mother, my mother kind of intervened any kind, uh-huh. anytime there was any tension, any tension involved. My mother uh-huh. would intervene because, you know, she was she didn't want any kind of drama and stuff like that. So, you did, know. Did that make you upset at all? Feel a certain way at this point in time? Um, yeah, I mean, people say that, uh, you know, you're, uh, they go back, you know, you, you hear d- different doctors and stuff like that and how people evolve in their life and, and they try to go back to the beginnings you know to the early ages and you know when you're uh, a child and, and if you've been uh, abused or, or if this happened or that happened stuff like that and um i can say that honestly say that uh, um if it wasn't for my mother because my father really wasn't there so much you know and uh it wasn't for my mother it, it's like i i think that's a lot of times that's that's a thing it's a, a mother son bond and uh, a father to daughter, daddy's girl. Really? Know? Yeah. So, because I, you know, I, I, 
someone said something to me one time that I I, I may have ha I may have a daughter out there. And oh man, I come was, on. Yeah, and I was. Still, How many uh, do you got? <laughs> I know, huh? No, but uh, that was the strong possibility because I was trying to look into it, and it was like I was getting blocked and stuff like that. So. Uh -huh. I kind of let it be, but it's just hard to think about it if if that was your really? daughter, because I would never abandon my daughter or, or son. I would I could have easily had, if I had a daughter out there, I could have easily had like a, um, a nanny, you know, even when I was doing the business. Mm. So you know, I could easily afford it a nanny. You know, it was, uh, that wouldn't have been a big deal at all. So you might be pissed off, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'd be oh. upset if if it was. I don't know if it's completely true, but you got to do that DNA thing, you know. Oh. So. Yeah, those, yeah, I see that show on TV. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I was Is wondering it? if someone was going to like, some girl was going to come to to knock on the door and you know ring the doorbell or something like that. And yeah. Yeah, I think you're my father. <laughs> a buddy of mine, that's that's happened to. Yeah. He he uh, re reunited with his actual uh, biological daughter, um, who's about twenty five, twenty six, or twenty seven, something like that. Mm, and, that's and, and they get and they're getting along great. Yeah. Yeah. His, his his girlfriend now is younger than his daughter. <laughs> oh, I'm not one to talk. <laughs> so, uh, your mother, what kind of job she have? My mother, because um, she spoke French and English, she was at Sears at the time. She was a French translator right. at, at uh, cool. Sears, and uh, after that, she was more of a, a, a stay at home mom. But she took care of business. She could cook like no other. Really? Oh, oh that's bake great. And cook. Huh? And, oh my gosh, she was ah, oh, really? she was great. Yeah, yeah. It's like got that lot of love, huh? Yeah, it gives you yeah. a good spirit. I oh think. Oh my gosh, she she and she loves the fact that her her cooking and, and her food were, were just. I and I love to eat. Yeah. So if my uh, my two sisters, if they didn't eat all their food, so you had two I, sisters. Yeah, okay. I had a younger sister, uh, two years younger, and an older sister, uh, three years older, and I'm in touch and close with my uh, older sister but uh, the younger sister's kind of like faded off and kind of like just kind of is doing her own thing mm. you know she's I uh, can't really put a I can't I can't put a finger on exactly where she's at and in, in, really? you know in this world I guess you drive down the street you make a turn and sometimes you can't get back <laughs> <laughs> I guess man it's a weird that's what I used to say about the uh, the industry the adult industry it's like a train yeah. You get on that, you get on that ride, and sometimes people get off at different stops, or you take that, you take that train for a long ride. Yeah. And I guess you and I <laughs> took that train for a long ride. Yeah, I want to get to that because yeah. that's a hell of a. We got so much to talk about. Yeah. But um, so I always wonder, you know, I always hear these stories mm -hmm. that the sister has friends, uh -huh. right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did your sister's friends come by and say, "Hey, I like your brother," or sneak you in the back room? And well, early on, when I was younger, my younger sister had uh, a friend that was a uh, girlfriend that was, was pretty cute. Actually, had a crush on me, and I didn't. Uh, I just thought she was too young. You know, when you're at a younger age, it's two years younger. I said, uh -huh. you know, or something like that. I just two years younger is nothing. <laughs> you think about it, you know. So I just I didn't I didn't bother because I I just yeah. I, I, I didn't get sneak in and do anything. I was pretty much a, a, a good kid, I guess, in, in a way that I, uh, I probably was a virgin until I was 18. Fuck. You believe that? 18? The great Peter North was a virgin until you're 18? 18, yeah. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not ashamed to say it. You know, but, I made up for lost ground. I guess. You know. Well, I guess you had virtue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a lot more than me. Yeah, no, I, I, I you know, I had a girlfriend at 17. Uh, she was 15, and that's two years younger. So I, I, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, really? Yeah. She liked you a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she was. She was a really pretty brunette, and uh, I just remember she, her giving me hand jobs, and uh, and then it just like blasting out like against the wall like about 16 times 14 i mean <laughs> that's what i want to get to more more than i i, I mean i didn't even think of it because i i didn't have anything to compare it to right how would you so know i didn't i didn't i didn't have anything to compare it to i'm 17 years old i'm thought that, okay everybody does that you know and i'm talking like then when i think back i'm talking about like 14 to 16 17 ropes we saw 17 you count them down next to me we're side by side <laughs> <laughs> at least numerous times yeah the thing is when you when you see it in slow motion that's when you can really that's when you can really see more because uh -huh. it's because you, you actually see more in slow motion because there's some that don't launch as far uh -huh. and some that launch further you know 
<laughs> I, I've been known to hit like a number of people around a set, like a director or, <laughs> or another actor that's in the scene with the girl that we're working with. Type of thing. <laughs> well, I, I can remember us. I, I said, Al, don't mess with me. Because <laughs> remember, we'd be side by side. I know, you saw me have that like that little smirk yeah. kind of thing. You but know? I had one or two that would go eight feet. <laughs> So I think that I, you were cautious sometimes. Yeah, Not yeah. to hit me, remember? Because yeah. I, I knew that you, you'd be able to nail me too. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were side by side. We counted down. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, mm -hmm. 4, 3, 2. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Boom, we go. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing that when we did scenes with uh, a, a three-way scene with a girl, we would uh, have no problems. We had, like, I mean, you... We kind of knew each other pretty well, and I mm -hmm. knew you'd get things started going like a little sooner. And and sometimes you fuck with me because <laughs> I'd be like, you'd you'd come out of, come out of the gate with a heart on, and I'm like, fuck, in my head, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh, mess up, and sweating. I'm like, so, so I'm like, okay, um, let me let me get my let me get my Just game on focus. here. Focus. And, and then you're going, and here you're in the background going, <laughs> <laughs> whistling, and but you know that's not going to phase me. No, I'm, not, I'm always I, I, a new guy, like a new guy that's just starting. That would kind of fuck with his head. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I just, yeah. just, I just laugh and just say something. Fuck. <laughs> like, uh, no, no okay, we're good. So you yeah. know, I, you know, I had a lot of love for you. So yeah. I never was messing yeah. with you. We were a pretty good team. That's why, like, some yeah. certain directors actually, uh, we were the first two guys that were hired in, yeah. for that for that movie. You know, that they shoot. Michael so, Carpenter. Yeah, Michael Carpenter for one. That he was every single time. My God. It's my guy. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. He's a screamer. Yeah, he, he was wonderful. Yeah, good guy. Yeah, I love that guy. Great. If you're watching, thank you so much for giving me all the work. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So, oh. um, do you go to church? You know, back to that because to me, you seem like an all-American guy, boy, or whatever you not boy, but you know, when you're yeah, younger, yeah. you would have been the all-American poster yeah. boy, right? Yeah. So, were you in church? Were you religious? Yeah. yeah. All that stuff. Um, I can't say I was like heavily religious. Um, but I, because of my mother, I, I went to church, I went to Sunday school, and I went to school. So I was going to Sunday school with nuns, and they were, they were, they were brutal at times. I mean, they, really? like, yeah, with, like, you out of line or something like that. They had, like, and this was back in the day, so. They yeah, had, you like, could do stuff. leather, like, thick leather things just whacking your hands and really? stuff like that. But it didn't bother me. I, huh. I'd make it seem like it bothered me. So just, just stop. And, <laughs> really? So yeah, I won't smart. laugh. Yeah. I, I, I just said, oh, you know. Like, so, <laughs> oh, but, huh. but I wasn't really out of line. I wasn't like that. Yeah. I was kind of a jokester a little bit in, in school and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, as far as I'd be like, even when I was, you know, like out partying and stuff like that and down clubs downtown in Halifax, there's like a bunch of them because it's like, it's kind of a, a university type of city. So mm -hmm. there's a, in the drinking age is 19. Oh wow! So the drink, yeah. So there's like a lot of pubs and bars and stuff like that. And like you walk to every like all of them. There's so there are a lot of them in so close together. So it's not much of a walk. It's kind of like Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> so, that's I mean, Ireland. Yeah, is they're there's, all there's set. a bunch of Irish, uh, uh, big Irish population in Nova Scotia. There's a lot of McDonald's, O'Briens, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's I I I, I got friends that, that that's their last name. So that, you know, but uh, even going to clubs and stuff like that. I'd be going to church on Sunday after Saturday night binge, and uh, I'd see a couple of my buddies over and the other, the other uh, uh, aisles on, on the church. It's that we get like the little nod type of thing. We're like suffering, like but we're in church, you know, with our mother type of thing, and just kind of being respectful. And uh, and and but you know the guy was partying big time the, the night before Saturday night, right. and then we go to church on Sunday Sunday morning. You know, but I mean, so. this is you weren't going to church when you're 19. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I was. I was <laughs> really. Yeah, because oh, uh, my mother, who I love, you know, my mother is just like everything, you know, and and so I have like the most utmost respect and and stuff like that, and so I I went to church. Uh, I, I should say I went to church quite a bit. Was I really religious? Mm, I don't know if I could say I was really religious. I mean, I thought okay, Roman Catholic. Um, What's the difference in a Protestant, Roman Catholic, you know, this and that, Christian, you know. I didn't. I had a friend that was Protestant. I went to his church just for the heck of it. I, I, I wasn't, like, reading into the, the differences. So, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a big deal to me. But it was something I, uh, I, uh, I, I'm not going to complain that I did, but 
uh, I think my influence from my mother is why. So, you know. Yeah, so you did whatever she wanted to her? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was... Uh, I was, born. yeah, I was res always respectful of my mother because she, she would do anything for, for any of us, all her, her three kids, you know, my sisters too. My mother was just there for us anytime, any day, you know. So that leads me to believe that you must have been a good, a good student. I was a pretty good student. I was lazy. What? Yeah. I was more like a, a Were you late? <laughs> uh, no, I couldn't be late. <laughs> Oh, no. I, I was late a few times, but then that had to stop. But uh, no, that, yeah, I was late a few times, but that had to stop. But uh, the, um, yeah, I was like a, a B plus student, but they, but my teachers told me I could have been huh? an A student. If you worked. If you worked. If you put more effort into it. We know you're not putting a lot of effort into it. You know, I, I would do some project in a class and all I would do is like kind of emulate and, and my teacher. And how he spoke and how his really? mannerisms, yeah, his, wow. his gestures and all, all his movements and stuff like that. And and everybody was cracking up in the, in the class. Oh, is the other class clown? Um, sometimes. Wow. Yeah. You know what they call that, right, when you do that? Yeah. Not, they call that mirroring. Mirroring, yeah, exactly. I was mirroring my, my that, teacher, yeah. They say that's the way to get along with somebody, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, as far as yeah, in business meetings or any kind of situation, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> you know, you, you kind of like see their energy and you kind of like uh -huh. go with the flow of their energy. You can relate to them. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, um, what kind of sports did you play? Well, first of all, I want to know. So, the subjects in school, which ones did you like? Um, I I, I definitely I liked biology. Um, it kind of intrigued me, but, uh, I, I liked, uh, math was not, uh, was not a problem either, you know, like numbers math? and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, there was in, in, in science, English. Yeah. They, they were all, all the subjects pretty much. A lot of them were, were not too much of a problem, you know? I mean, you're a Taurus like me, you know that. Yeah. yeah. We're both Tauruses. Mm -hmm. Rocco's a Taurus too. Is he? We're all the oh, best. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, so um, that's cool. So you pretty much, you could do any subject. Didn't really. Yeah. All pretty yeah. much the same. I, I think biology stood out a little more oh. type of thing. Okay. You know, I'm always curious about, you know, how the body works. The body and, and just all the, uh, the, how this makes this work and this makes that work and all the kind of, you know, it's intricate, oh. intricate uh, yeah. setup. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's a little mechanical. Mm -hmm. So that's why you like. Maybe you, you might like mechanics and cars. You told me you're a gearhead. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a gearhead. <laughs> I definitely liked. Uh, I definitely always have been in. Well, I can't say always, but about at the age of 17, I got into uh, muscle cars, American muscle cars. My dream car was like a Hemi Cuda. Really? Are I didn't get my big? hands on one, but I had a 340 uh, Cuda that we kind of beefed up the engine and stuff like that. But if I had my oh, hands on a Hemi Cuda, I mean, some of those some of those things sold at these auctions for. 2.7 mil. Wow. It depends on how original mm -hmm. they are and how rare they are. A convertible right. could get you like 3 million at an auction because they only made 11 convertible Hemi Kudas. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I thought they were pretty cool looking, but did you know I looked up the specs on those fast 440 Mopar Hemis mm -hmm. and the fastest one that I saw, you know, stock or mm -hmm. even a little touch beefed up was 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. I know you cannot you cannot <laughs> compare the, you cannot compare it to to now. I mean, it's the technology and everything that with uh, co engines, combustion engines, not just combustion engines, combustion engines combined with electric engines, you know, or turbos. I mean, these crazy uh, turbos, um, uh, superchargers. I mean, everything has just been so advanced now. It's like, uh, well, they had the blowers back then, six seventy one blowers. Remember? True. Yeah, yeah. But um, still, yeah. didn't do the job. Like, yeah, cause you have a Ferrari. Yeah, I have a, a Ferrari and a couple of Mercedes. And you say that your Ferrari is faster than my Mercedes. <laughs> so um, we're going to have to go hit the track and hit the freeway, see what uh, happens. I, but go ahead, tell me about yeah, it, please. Yeah, well, okay. Um, I think if I'm correct, and I don't know the, the, the exact specs, but I think your um, E63S, that, that's, a, that's a sweet ride. That is Thank a sweet you. ride, I, I have you. to say. In, inside and, and out. It, it's like, and it's all-wheel drive. Huh. But... Uh, the uh, horsepower on that car is 605 from the factory, 606. Uh, yeah. And uh, 
my F430 has got twin superchargers, so we're looking at uh, on regular gas 629 at the wheels, at the rear wheels, and then with uh, 101, which you can get at 76 stations, hmm. unleaded, uh, 689 at the wheels, and it weighs with the carbon fiber diffuser in the back, it weighs only 3170. So it's close to the weight of that that 720s McLaren, but not as fast as that 720s McLaren. That's a, that's a sick that's a sick car out of the factory, but uh, it's it's pretty uh, the uh, F430 is pretty fast. Those times I did my research looking at them, you know, yeah. I'm not on the road on the track racing them, but I look at the times, mm -hmm. and those times are very microscopic. Do you oh, see yeah. the times? Oh yeah, because you know they say that my car does 3.0 or 3.1 or 2.8. You know, whoever drives it, yeah, whatever, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's very, you know, pretty much three, let's mm -hmm. say three. Right. But maybe that McLaren is only, does 2.6 or something. Yeah. Something like that, I think. Yeah. You know, and then these other cars, the big, uh, the fast new Ferrari, the 460 or 458 or whatever it is, right. it does, you know, 0 to 60 in 2.7 or 2.6. I think, uh, I think so, it's either 2.7 or 2.8 or yeah. something like so that. So really, yeah. like, who's driving? So that's why I say we're yeah. going to have to meet on the track. <laughs> <laughs> that would, I, I think the car that you talk about is the, the uh, F8 uh, Tributo. Uh, I, no, there's a new one. That's the newest one, the F8 Tributo. It's, it looks really? similar to the 488, but it's actually okay, seven, 710 horsepower. And uh -huh, it's, okay. it's lighter. Uh -huh. And so all those things, horsepower, less weight. Right, you, know? you think that, but yeah. then it's very strange because I had a 360 Modena, right? Or oh, Modena, yeah. however you want to call it. My yeah, yellow one, Modena, remember? Yeah, I remember that one. And uh, that thing would not, you really knew how, knew, you need to know how to drive it because yeah. I used to smash that thing and it had a lag, right? Yeah. And that lag was enough to ruin you. So you really had to, you know, be a, dry, a racer right. and and let was it that, go. I'm, I'm trying to think. Did you have paddle shifters on that? Or did mm -hmm. you, oh, you had yeah, but still, okay. it was it had a leg. Craven, we raced with his yeah. NSX. Acura NSX, yeah. which is a 5.70 to 60, and mine is supposed to be a 4.2 right. or 3 or whatever. Yeah. And I think he got me off the line. I don't even know if I caught him. And how embarrassing is that? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think you I think you did catch him, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think you in, did. in that movie? Yeah. yeah Anyways. Yeah. yeah, no, the thing is about it's 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 the shift points like, you know, now they have the dual clutch shifting. So there's not there's nothing. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It, it's almost like an automatic to me. Yours. Well, mine's not a dual clutch. Okay. Mine's still single clutch. But that's what I like about it. And that's why they went back with the uh, 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 Lamborghini Performante. They that's a single clutch. Um, uh, 60 millisecond shifts. And that's that's one of the reasons you feel like you're in. You're, you're you're doing something. You're actually shifting. Oh. So the, the the people that like the stick shifts and stuff like that, they would I think they prefer the single clutch. If you want the fastest speeds and times, dual clutch. No, oh. you know. But it, it seems like you're in an automatic. You know. Well, well, my car, that thing is so responsive. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's like you put it in race mode, and it's like, why? Right? It's like yeah. you're on a Formula race car. It's bad. Yeah. But back to you. So. Do you have any brawls in high school? <laughs> like, you seem so mellow. You're always mellow, but you're strong. You're good size, and I know you can whip somebody's ass. <laughs> so, and tell me about any you know brawls in high school or junior high. Because where I come from, uh, we were fighting a lot. Yeah, I remember you telling me some of those stories. Yeah. You know, in school was, and stuff, I, it's always you're, you're sitting and waiting on sets where you were you, you'd be telling me you know, yeah. another room type of thing. But uh, I was like, um, I have to say, like, like. Like I, I mentioned earlier, like in beginning of June or whatever, that I was 194 lean and, and stuff like that. And now I'm like lost about 14, 15 pounds of muscle because I've been just uh, focusing on different things and take have to have to take care of business and stuff like that. So I have been working out and I got it like an injury. So, um, but in high school, I was probably soaking wet 149 pounds, really? 150 something like that. Mm. So I was like uh, wiry then. Yeah, I was always I was always fast. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I I I, I realized, and I, I started doing some shadow box, and it was like I had I had fast hands. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe not as fast as yours, but I think I had some pretty fast hands. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I remember holding the, the focus pads for you, and you ripping the focus pads right off my hands. <laughs> <laughs> they, With those they, heavy mitts. They used your, to your say, clubs. <laughs> they used to say, 
every boxing gym I went to, mm -hmm. they would say that I had the hardest punch for my weight that they ever saw. Oh, and yeah. These are these are so, clubs that Shane Mosley and De La Hoya were at, right. and the Brooklyn Boxing Gym yeah. in L.A., yeah. the Gel Cells over there in you know, East L.A., and other places in the Valley. But anyways, I don't know. I don't know how many times I was trying to tell you you should you should get into it, and, and even trainers said you missed your calling. Yeah, you know you could have been a champion in, in a, one of those weight divisions, or maybe even a couple weight divisions. I'm like, yeah. damn, dude. I bet yeah. the thing is. You were like in the you were like in the business a lot too. So mm. I mean, if you just had a regular job, I guarantee you'd be you'd get in the, the box and like mm. I mean, because you, you you would oh my god. Yeah, it was smart. You know, they always want me to fight at the forum, but that's a lost cause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like I say, you missed your calling. Yeah. Yeah, but well, I mean, you didn't do you didn't do too bad in the business. So I think I had a good time. Probably, I would I would say the best performer. Uh, you you should have won the best performer like four or five years in a row. Yeah. Yeah. There's some politics going on with those awards. So, I mean, I, I know from like being at one of the shows, at one of the award shows, that uh, someone won an award that was with Wicked Pictures, this girl, and she got up on stage and she she I, she lost her voice. She was like, um, for some, I don't know if she was sick or something, she lost her voice, but she was saying over the mic that she wasn't even in that movie. <laughs> she, she wasn't even in that movie. No shit. Yeah. And she got wow. an award for something like, you know, it's just, it's, wow. Wow. yeah. I'll give you an example. In 1994, right, we were at the ABN Awards, me and my girlfriend, and um, they gave Jonathan Morgan Performer of the Year, right? And <laughs> I like Jonathan, but... Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah. I like him, too. Yeah. But that year, I stunted for him probably at least 10 times. Seriously? Yeah. So it lets you know what the people really knew wow. that were heading those awards. I stunted for him 10 times, and he was up on stage and even said... Hey, T T oh, hey, why? And, you know, that's the stories. Oh, really? It goes like he knew that was my award. Yeah. But you know, of and course. then and then one year, Rocco won. He only did ten movies in America. You know, yeah. I love Rocco. He's mm -hmm. great. You know, great performer. But he only did ten movies, and I did three hundred. Right, yeah. just like the Warrior, three hundred, three hundred movies mm -hmm. or more. You know, mm -hmm. I used to do three or four scenes a day. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> three or four scenes a day. I mean. The, the most uh, I've done three scenes a day, but I just got by on three scenes a day. If I, I hardly ever, you know, it was probably I could count on one hand how many times I did three scenes a day. It's basically two scenes is what they want the most out of you if, if they can mm -hmm. get two scenes out of someone. And you doing four scenes in a day, and you come out of the gate with a with a, uh, a rock hard on, and I'm like, what? And this is before. This is way before Viagra and Cialis and all that. An injection jet and cover jack injections or whatever that it is. Um, it's you were just yeah. You know, I, I I don't know. You had that uh, that Latin blood or something like that. I don't know. A Puerto Rican. <laughs> you know, it was just you know, your testosterone level must have been through the roof. I don't know. I just liked the girls. I had a good focus, you know. Yeah. And uh, so, would you say that I was the strongest performer you've seen? Yeah. And you've I don't even have to take a second to think about it. Yeah. And you work with everybody. Yeah. I've been in the business for uh, 30 some odd years and I've, <laughs> I've seen a lot come and go. And, and uh, yeah, you were definitely the, the, the most consistent and strong. Yeah, we had great times, man. You know, oh, yeah. I just, I'll never forget those times. For me, yeah. it's some of the best times of my life. And yeah. I wouldn't trade those times for a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And some people might not believe that, but I don't lie. I'm not a bullshit yeah. artist. Those, so, are some, those are some very good memories, some good times. Yeah, we had great times. I mean, I'm going to go through some of them, but it was, you know, beautiful. Yeah. So back to, you know, Nova Scotia. Do you Were you spoiled with love from your mom? A lot uh, of gifts? A lot of just... No, no? not spoiled. No? I, absolutely not spoiled, yeah, because I, I had to work to get my, my first bicycle. Right. Like, yeah, it's never, never spoiled. I, that's one thing that uh, my parents didn't do is, is, is spoil me. And I see, I see the, the kids nowadays, and uh, I even like I used to go through the, the catalog and I pick out these things I want for Christmas. JC Penny or some, something, sisters, right? Yeah, yeah. My, my sisters would get what they want, but I would not get what I was asking for. Really? What the hell? I mean, like, uh, so I, but a gift is a gift, you know? Yeah. You got to appreciate it. Well, I, that's what they say, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes I said to myself, and I always try doing this for other people. You know, 
if I'm going to buy you a gift, I'm trying to buy you something that you need or you really like. Right. Right. So if you give me a gift that I could wipe my ass with, <laughs> then take it up and shove it up your ass, kind yeah, of. Yeah. And I don't want to be a prick, but yeah. what the what the hell is a gift if you you know if you don't think about the person? Right. Right. That's if what you, I do with cards. If I'm getting someone a card, you I, give people cars. I, 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 not, <laughs> I would like not, uh, not, not, not a car. It's a uh, card. Oh, okay. Heard, you know, and and I would think about if they if they're into animals, if they, you know, they got a dog or a cat yeah. or something like that. So I'm always I'm always like not just picking out a card. I'm like picking out the right card. Thinking about them. Yeah. Or and, and what they say and what they say in the cards, even even for my mother, especially for my mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have sometimes for my sister, I have like we do uh, humorous cards. Yeah. You know, lightens up everything. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, when you're buying something for your girlfriend or your mother, right. a gift. Right. You're probably buying them something they really want. Yeah. Oh. I, would, I would. Yeah, I would make sure it's 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 a good thing and the right thing. Yeah. So there we go. So it does matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't let anybody bullshit you. I just you. contradict myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, but yeah. just bringing up the point. You know right. that the truth is the truth. Right. You yeah. know. What was your first job? Ah, uh, first job working at a, a fish plant downtown. On the waterfront. Really? Yeah. Halifax is, 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 is like, is a busy port and it never freezes over. And uh, it's, it's kind of like a, a miniature San Francisco. Uh -huh. Like the roads will, like downtown, the roads go real steep down, uh -huh. right down to the waterfront. And you got Privateer's Wharf instead of Fisher's, Fisherman's Wharf. It's all, it's just scaled down the size. It's not like as popular and not as big as San Francisco. But it's got like you know, it's got the, the he's got the fish plants, it's got the docks and all that kind of stuff. And so I was like, I think I was sixteen and I was working and I was like, excited. Hard the, hard work. Oh, Sorry, yeah. Yeah. it was labor. Yeah, we, yeah. we were you know, we were uh, uh, cutting fish heads off and uh, in the assembly line and doing this and that. I mean, different different things that we like. You know, they put prime in, in the barrels and to keep the the fish. You know, to keep them so they don't rot or ruin or stuff like that. And carrying carrying these. Uh, uh, barrels around and stuff like that, and a lot of physical labor. Yeah, big barrels. But yeah, a lot of physical labor, and, and we, I didn't mind it because I would rather do that than sitting at a desk and 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 typing something out or, or you know whatever. I just I I just think that's healthier, you know. And I think so too, especially when you're young. Yeah, especially when you're young, and and I remember just getting checks and and. Uh, a bunch of us being in the same car driving home and just like, yeah, you yeah. know, it was, it was, yeah, it was a good feeling. And, and even, uh, and the loading docks, uh, I was, I was, uh, unloading, uh, you know, it was, it was basically, um, uh, that was a part-time thing the, because it was, you know, I was still going to school type of thing. Uh -huh. But, uh, uh, and then we, I'd go downtown and, and uh, it, it early, early morning, which is like crazy for me, but early, early morning. And then About 10, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more like five. That's six. fucking hell, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I actually uh, one of the jobs I had was uh, unloading uh, the the ships and and the, the pallets they they drop off on the loading docks and sixty pound bags of flour, put it over your shoulder and you just you know put it in the, in the place it's supposed to be and stuff like that. Um, and so when I think about it, I think about like that makes me think about the other job I had with the bakery. I was driving a bread truck delivering bread to. Uh, uh, homes then and south in the south end of Halifax, which is the higher end district, of, you know, with the big colonial homes and stuff like that. More money, with the, with the more money type of thing, kind of similar to, uh, let's say, uh, Beverly Hills type of thing, but not like a yeah. anywhere close to Beverly Hills. But that kind of, you know, uh, analogy, like how it uh, how it compared to the the rest, like the north end was known to oh, be like, yeah. So you, the north, what side were you on? Um, I wasn't on either side. Oh, okay. I was out, outside of the, uh, the middle. You know, the, the city basically kind of like in, in a, a, a suburb that was near a lake and stuff like that. Uh -huh. We had the woods close by, so we always went into the woods and and learned to swim at the lake and stuff like that. Uh -huh. and, and we built tree houses. So we did all kinds of things. It's so, had a good ch good childhood. Sounds beautiful, really. Yeah, yeah, really oh. good childhood. Well, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of friends in the neighborhood. Everybody knew everybody. It's, a, it's like like now, <laughs> where I live, it's like a gated community, and uh -huh. uh, you know, there's guard gate twenty four hours, different guard gates and stuff, uh, different guards, and uh, um, you know, it's basically on top of a hill, ocean view and stuff like that. But it's like I know two neighbors. Oh, it's a lot of people there. Big community. Well, it's not a huge community, uh -huh. but I mean, there's still, 
you know, enough homes in that community that you should mm-hmm. know. Like, I mean, it's it's a good sized community, but it's not like gigantic. But it's still there's a lot of sides, you know, side streets at dead end that go, you know, a lot of houses on those streets and stuff like that. So, but it's like, um, it's not like it. It's it's I don't know. If, I think uh, Newport Coast uh, is kind of a, a little pretentious. You uh-huh. know? And oh, so, yeah, they only yeah, want to hang out with people they got yeah, money or know. Yeah, or kind of. and, and the women, like, you know, they, they look at someone like, you don't have a nanny to help with the, the child type of thing. I'm not having a baby with you. <laughs> 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 We're, you don't have the bag. Peace. Yeah, yeah. I want to secure the bag. Secure the bag. <laughs> I know, I know. So you it, ain't getting no bag. Yeah. It's it's uh, interesting because uh, yeah it's uh, yeah I I've heard a lot of things it's got a, a reputation I said I would never yeah. buy a place in Newport Coast because they don't give you a, a lot of land but they give you you get the view beautiful I mean the, yeah you get the uh, it's, climate right yeah and, and you, you you drive up the hill to my place and it's got you got canyon on the right side and you got ocean so there's no houses it's almost like going into it's almost like going into the woods a little bit and it's that whole area that that I live in was never, de- when I first moved to California, that was never developed. That wasn't even there. That that didn't even start until in the 90s. And if you could have bought some land back then, huh? Oh, are you kidding me? Breaks your heart. Oh, man. Only if you knew what you know today, yeah. yesterday. Oh, <laughs> that's, that, that holds true in that case, yeah. for sure. So were you popular in school? No. no? I, was, I was at Switzerland, that me, uh, middle, middle of the, you know, I was never, I was never picked on. I was never bullied. Um, I was not the popular kid, but I was like that in between, that in between level that I would always, anytime I seen anybody getting bullied, that if I, if I knew them or even if I didn't know them, I, 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 I'd step in. I, I had, I had a case of no fear. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm similar. Uh, I guess some similarities to you. Yeah. Even if I, even if it's a case where I could have got my ass whooped or something like that, it did, it didn't matter. I saw something that wasn't right. It wasn't going on. And I just, yeah. I had to like say something uh-huh. or, or step in. But I mean, so we didn't get back to that story. You didn't fight in school? Um, I don't remember having a fight, uh, a fight in school, actually. Wow. I, I, probably a couple fights, not in school, but you know, at oh, other, I, other places, yeah. Parties or something? Yeah. Maybe yeah. a couple? Yeah. But you, you weren't real. that's not uh, your style. I, I, I'm not like, I'm, I'm huh. really chill and, and you have to provoke me. But huh. if you provoke me, it's like poking the bear. <laughs> You know, it's like a tightly cold spring, uh-huh. and that's what you say about you, because because you you were always like mellow and chill, and and anytime there was an incident or anything that happened with you, it was because someone else instigated it and started it, yeah. and you ended up finishing it. Yeah. Well, I think the one guy Nick East had said something about you. Oh Did yeah. You say that story. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. And I went to his house. He said something yeah. about me and you, but then I grabbed him, knocked him out, right, yeah. and then you know. Right, and I said, "I never say anything about Peter North." <laughs> I said, "Beg for mercy." I do remember that, and he begged for mercy. I do remember that. Yeah. Anyway, that he was wasn't a cool fighter. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was very cool. That was Bianca Trump. I yeah. stayed at his house. She was pretty sexy. Mm-hmm. Remember her? Mm-hmm. She had a real puffy one. The way I like it. Yeah, she, had, yeah. she was great. She yeah. came to my house that one day. No, I think she was shooting at Buck was staying at my house and. She came and with her, I don't know, she was dropped off or we're doing a, a shoot at my house or apartment or something. Mm-hmm. And she told her boyfriend to go back to Washington and she stayed with me. <laughs> really? <laughs> she didn't even know me, but wow. she liked what she got. Right. You know what I mean? But I didn't even know. Yeah, I never I, told you about that. Yeah, I never knew about that. Yeah. yeah. She was, I mean, she was sexy as hell, but mm-hmm. then she told me about, you know, Nikki's talking. Right. And anybody oh, she, that, she let you know about that. Uh-huh, and he, yeah. blah, 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 blah. You yeah. know, anybody that talked about me, I tried to talk yeah. to him. Yeah. I didn't talk about anybody. That's but, true. Yeah. And you, I never seen you talk shit yeah. ever. Yeah. You're always so mellow, so quiet, so cool. I mean, when I first met you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, there's Peter North. Yeah. Yeah, right. You're like, hey, bro, what's up, man? Yeah. I'm like, this guy's talking to me. He's yeah. a cool guy. You know what that felt like? That felt like heaven. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thanks. Yeah. No Thanks problem. for fucking being cool with me. You no know problem. what I mean? No problem. You know, I mean that was. I think I met you when we were at that Howard house up in Malibu. Oh, yeah? I had to shoot probably for who knows who because there's too many people, right? I know. But um, it was I know for sure it was up at that house in Malibu. Yeah. You know, way up in a canyon. Yeah, he had made that one crazy science fiction regular movie. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he had that um, 
the dark haired wife that was there, she was pretty sexy and she was, I think, bored and seeing all the sex going on yeah. and thinking that she was interested. Yeah. But in any case, so <laughs> yeah. she was cool. But that's the thing is, is you know, like I thought you, you were pretty cool. And I said, you know, I, I never like never competed with, you know, guys in the business. When John Doe first came in the business, I, we were talking, get along great. Uh, Randy Spears, same thing. I just, you know. I, I I welcomed everybody in and you know yeah. hope they succeeded. Really, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what makes that's what was one of my questions. Is like, here you are, you know. I mean, we're not really at that point yet, but we'll talk about it. Here you are, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just guessing as a director and a producer and a distributor. If I saw you come on my set, right, mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh my God, look what this guy can do," I'll be like, you know, using. The hell are you You're trying to put you on a contract, right. right? So I'm just guessing all the other producer directors must have been going crazy for you, right? They weren't. Th they didn't think like that, though. Oh, yeah. It was. It was all. It was. It was in our in our time. It was more about you know the, the uh, contract girls, mm -hmm. if there was contract at all. It would it'd be the contract girls. Well, and yeah. like, but the thing is, uh, that's when I I thought of, I should be doing my own stuff, and I should have started way back then. Way back, yeah, in '89, I should yeah. have started. I should have started my own stuff because I when uh, Randy West uh, did Up and Comers. I think that, that with '91 or '92, I think. Are you sure? I, I think so. I thought it was earlier than that. I thought it was uh, earlier than that because uh, Ed Powers did uh, the Dirty Debutants, uh, and then Randy West did uh, the at least. I mean, Commerce. I think it was '91, but hey, pretty close. I started the company. I started the company in '97. Yeah. I think you started before you started doing your distribute, uh, your producing and stuff before me. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, let's go. I don't want to jump because, but um, what kind of car did you have? Because you say you had a, the Cuda, in school. Uh, I had a I had a, a, th a three forty uh, Barracuda. Yeah, seventy two. Wow. They they dropped the horsepower down. Was it purple? Yeah. What was it? It was a metallic. <laughs> it was a metallic brown. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I like brown. It had like flakes in it, like like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the old school. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of like a bicycle you used to have, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Remember those, yeah. those bikes? Yeah. yeah. It was a, it was a automatic on the column. Oh yeah. It's automatic on the column. Oh, the little thing, rare, numbers going see, across. You rarely see, rarely see that, and so like, we we modified yeah. that engine. We we built that engine up to right. for more horsepower and stuff like that. But the cars back then, you know, the gear ratio, the shifting, they wouldn't stick. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> You could smoke the yeah, especially if you didn't have positive traction. Yeah. You'd have that one tire just smoking up. To, <laughs> one tire. About, pretty funny. About fifty feet down the road, yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of that was that was pretty fun. I mean, that's I I kind of got it was a gearhead at that time from seventeen to probably like twenty 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 one something like that, and then I kind of like I got in a relationship um, from twenty uh, no actually I I, I just. 21, yeah, I got, I, I got out into other things and stuff like that. I started, like, um, you know, going downtown, going to the clubs and stuff like that and, you know, meeting some yeah. some nice women. And stuff so like that's that. how I wanted. So yeah. you got your car. Yeah. How old did you? You said you were 19? Um, I was uh, 17. 17, yeah, 17. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that's in high school, right? Yeah. So here you are with a car. Kind of just out of high school, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. But you're a good-looking guy. You're... Kind of popular, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> right? But yeah, I, I mean, was I was not like that, uh, you know, that, that. Yeah, dork. You weren't a dork. Yeah, no I way. wasn't a dork, and I wasn't the, the uh, uh, quarterback of the team uh -huh. type of thing, you know? But were the girls wanting, did they like you? Um, I had, like, some secret admirers, I guess, because there was some things left on my locker a few times. And, really? Yeah, panties? Some, some notes. No uh, panties. Uh, <laughs> not that extreme. Uh, no, not where I'm from. They're a little more conservative. Really? Not now, but. You know, yeah. back then. In my school, they this one guy, this such a beautiful girl. Her name was Jennifer Saavedra, right? She's beautiful Spanish girl. I was in seventh grade. Yeah. And she had sex with the eighth grader, right? I, I can't remember this guy's name on top of my head. I mean, she was so beautiful, right? Yeah. And he was so disrespectful, he took a condom and threw it on her locker and told everybody. Really? Right? And that was like, she was like, yeah. ah! And I was like... Oh baby, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> see how see how it's interesting that you say you were in seventh grade and she and she was in seventh grade and she she had sex with an eighth grader. Yeah. Notice the age. We noticed the age yeah, difference yeah. when we were younger and we were in school and stuff like that. But we think about it now, you know, being with a girl oh. 15, 20 years younger than yourself is not a big deal. No, you know, no, especially I mean, in California. 
But I mean, I, I didn't think it was a big deal then, but I was just saying that that guy don't know he got the gift from a beautiful girl and he sh took a shit on it. Yeah. He must have been a retard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You don't appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. You can't, you can't do that to a yeah. you know, beautiful girl. I think, girl. I think the, it, it's, well, and nowadays it's, it can be any age, but Back before it was, uh, it was unappreciated when you were at a younger age, because uh, I mean, it was all um, it was all real. I mean, it was like sincere and real oh, type yeah. of thing. You know, most of that, it, yeah, because yeah, you you got the people that you got the guys and the girls that their first love or yeah. or something like that. So it was it was all real. Kissing, touching. Yeah. I mean, it was such a beautiful thing for yeah, me. Yeah, how to feel for you? Oh yeah. As I mean, it's, I I at a school dance, I had to like. Lean my waist up way back because I had a heart on just like dancing with really? it. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was like ready to go. I mean, yeah. like, damn. Uh, so I want to know this. When was the first time you understood that you were an X-Man, you know, and you were unlike any other man on the planet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's interesting. It was, uh, it was a, a big a uh, huge movie set um, and the company I'm thinking I'm trying to think of the company name um, I know that um, who was John I, I know that John Leslie was was the main character lead role he, this is guy John God bless him he, he could he could do mainstream acting easy he was a beautiful person yeah he was a great intense. guy yeah he was a, he was intense he was like sincere he was just yeah, you know, straight up. I mean, I want you to finish that quick, but the, after that, I want to go right to him and talk about him. Okay. So yeah, so basically, he he said he, uh, he uh, I guess noticed my pop shot, and a few people noticed my John. pop shot. Yeah, John. Uh, and he said to me, he goes, "You're gonna go. You're gonna you're gonna be big. You're gonna be a star's kid." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something you, you see in the movies. You're gonna be a star kid. Uh -huh. And I was just like an extra on a, a couple days when, it, and I actually was an extra couple days, and then I did. I had I did a scene, a sex scene. So it was not really any acting. I, I was never considered an actor. You see better acting in Mount Rushmore, you know. <laughs> but uh, um, uh, when I wa I was watching, I was watching John act intensely, and I was like, "This is adult. This is adult movie stuff." And I'm like, "Damn, there's some scripts and there's some dialogue and there's some. I mean, some of the scripts are like 50 pages. I'm like, seriously, you know? Yeah. I, I know. I know people think certain ways about it, but it's like." They wanted to get down nitty gritty, but there was some there was some acting back in the day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, I mean, I want to go back to those guys because those guys, yeah, you know, a bunch of guys, right? Yeah. That's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. But before we go there, I remember you told me a long time ago that you used to jack off over the ocean on a rock or something, <laughs> right? And you'd be counting them, counting the missiles oh, dropping. Oh yeah, no, that was when I was pretty young. My, uh, cause my, uh, uh, my. Uh, my mother's side of the family lived in a, in a different province in in, in Canada, uh -huh. and um, and it was it was bilingual a lot. It was mostly French, but a lot of people spoke English too. Uh -huh. um, so it was very bilingual, and uh, I remember just going there, and it was not a lot for me to do because you know every second summer, you know, so because I, I, I always had like tons of friends when I was a kid uh -huh. in my neighborhood. You're likable, right? Mean. Uh, yeah, I had always had a, a lot of friends, um, so it was always it was. I, I didn't have that when I went on that uh, trip to the to the other province with my, my family because it was you know my my grandmother my uncles my mother had like nine there was nine children in her side of the family oh, big and family. so I, yeah I had a lot of I mean real real nice really good people uh, really really good people and my grandmother and stuff like that they lived down by the by the water and they uh, um, uh, I I noticed when I uh, I just went I got some fins I wanted to do some like a little bit of snorkeling or something like that. And where the river kind of meets the ocean, and uh, I just noticed there was some like, you know, girls over there with some bikinis on and stuff like that. So uh -huh. yeah, that's uh -huh. I kind of started to, you know, Are you like, looking at them. Yeah, checking them <laughs> out, and then you know, uh, I, I that's I think that's what I was talking about when I was talking about ma masturbating down by the, the water type that's of thing. Looking, yeah. look at, yeah, yeah, into it, the ocean or something. Yeah, you could you could <laughs> see it, you could see it go into the ocean, just kind of uh -huh. like. Stay, stay like a, a rope, like <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was something I always remember. Yeah, but when was the first time that you started looking at women? I mean, is this the time where you just said, I just love the way they look, smell, and I gotta have some punani. 
um, junior high. Junior high? And I guess, and I'm not sure if they, they call it junior high everywhere else. It's sometimes middle school. Seventh, eighth grade? Yeah. So, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, six, seven, eight, or something like that, or is it, yeah, six, uh, seven, so, eight. So yeah, yeah, you so, were thinking, yeah. So um, I in in junior high, I uh, I had my I was checking, I was definitely checking girls out. But this one girl, I uh, kept checking her butt out, and she was what's like, her name? Um, her uh, what was her name? Because she actually invited me to do homework. Oh her really? Her and you were scared. And here's what here's what happened. So I, I had been checking her out for a long time. You know, I would check because she wore like some kind of uh, slacks that just her butt was just like round and like a heart shape. Like really? Like, yeah. I, oh, I like, love butts. Oh, I yeah. love the fat camel toes sticking out of their pants too, and bikinis. Yeah. yeah. I used to lose my yeah, mind. I know. And Phyllis Azaridi on the corner, uh, right across from me. Oh yeah. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I was checking her out for like I don't know how long, and then. She, uh, she was talking. She uh, somehow we got talking, and, and she invited me over to her place to do some homework together. And you know, I kind of figured out what that meant. And so, um, oh, how old were you again? What grade do you think? Um, seventh. You say so around seventh grade, something okay. like that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and I just I was on my way over to her place, and then before I got there, I I chickened out. Oh <laughs> man, really? Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. So you, yeah, because you're like a nice guy and you get nervous. I yeah. got nervous too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I had, uh, I used to um, just kind of play around with this one girl that she was like, I was like a, kind of a senior in junior high and she was a, a junior type of thing, and she had like probably triple D natural with a, a, a slim body. Because you like big, big tits, don't you? Big naturals. <laughs> naturals. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we forget the fakes. Yeah. And she, uh, and she was like a teaser and she like, but I actually liked her sister. All right. Uh, I liked her sister, Laura, better than, uh, I love them than, all. Better than Beth, but, but, but they both had like, you know, the humongous, I mean, just natural, but slim bodies. I mean, yeah. like, they didn't have like the, the big, uh, bigger caboose down, down below type yeah. of thing, you know? And I was like, I was like groping, a, groping a feel here and there type of thing. And I'm like, and then I found out one of the, one of the guys in my neighborhood, he, he ended up banging her. And I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? Oh, I knew she was like inter that? interested in me and stuff, but I didn't know that she would she would take it that far. That, I'm like, fuck. That okay. happened to me a few times. Really pissed me off. Yeah. Because you're a punk. Because you could have had it. Yeah. All you had to do is go a little bit more. Yeah. And the other guy did, yeah. and you got nothing. Oh yeah. Glad I remember that. <laughs> ah, that sucks. That pissed off. Oh, yeah. It was so nice back then, right? The yeah, girls wanted man. to kiss, and yeah. they just wanted you to, you They're know, sweet. go for it. They They're want sweet. you to go for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. If you went for it. They were like, hey. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's how I remember it, you yeah. know? Yeah. So when was the first time, you know, it sounded like a broken record, but these first times you um, busted on a girl or in a girl, and she said, what the are you doing? Um, I mean, what's wrong with you, never, right? Never happened. Never? No, and, not in my, it, that's weird, because that's why I didn't think that there was anything unusual about my ejaculation, uh -huh. because I just... You know, when I had sex, I mean, I mean, some girl, my, one girl said something. Yeah, what'd she and, say? Because I, when she, I, I couldn't have any, I couldn't come in her. I was wearing a condom and stuff like that. And then, and then she pulled it off and, and jacked me off. And, and, and my pop shot hit the windshield of the car because we were doing it in the front seat <laughs> of the car. Hit the windshield, went up and hit the windshield. And she kind of said something there. But that's the only time that anybody ever said anything. So I, I thought, like I said, I thought I was just normal. And then wow. I didn't even know until I got in the business. Wow. Uh that's crazy. So, huh. never yeah. knew in my personal life whatsoever. That's strange. And you wore a condom. That's nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, back then, that's yeah. a little more unusual. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you were like such a straight laced guy, really. Yeah. I mean, like, that's what I said, like the all American poster boy. Kind yeah. of, you know what I mean? I mean? But the, see, the birth control wasn't like as ra rabid as, you know, the, yeah, not but, all, everybody, all the girls were on birth control. But yeah. come on, who wore a condom back then? Um,. It depended on the, it depended on the girl actually yeah uh, I mean but condoms weren't everywhere you know yeah. like they are now so yeah. got, you'd have to go search you got every kind of condom right now yeah, yeah. But, I mean that's you know yeah. but that's nice of you yeah I was I was a nice guy <laughs> so why did you move to Cali and when did you move to Cali and where in Cali did you go I uh, I moved in uh, I think it was January of 2000 
or no, excuse me, January of 1982. Yeah. 1982 or, or 81, 82. And I've never seen a palm tree in my life. I never flew on a plane in my life. Whoa, really? Yeah. So and I had a buddy that was already living in Huntington Beach, California. And there was a house, he was living in a house and everybody that, that was there was, was from somewhere else. And there was a room up for rent. So there was a guy living there from New York. He, he was, uh, um, he worked for, uh, I think, McDonnell Douglas. He was, you know, uh, and uh, um, he was from New York and his girlfriend was from Pittsburgh. Another guy from Taiwan. And I'm like, okay. So I had my opportunity because I always wanted to go to California to see what was out there. I just kind of like, it was calling me. It was like I had to just see what was out there. See the beach, the palm trees, all the good sunny yeah, yeah, coast. Yeah. I mean, you're in a frozen tundra, mm -hmm. so you want to get yeah. the hell out I mean, of there. It gets, it, it's, the weather's beautiful in Halifax in the, in the summertime. Okay, it's, it's gorgeous back there in the summertime. I mean, but uh, um, the wintertime, it's like I, I didn't mind the winters. I got used to the winters, but uh, I just. It was just a curiosity of going to California type of thing. And I never went there for, for one specific reason. I just, I just came to California because I, I just had to see. I had two, I had two, like a bird, my bird. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, snowbirds, like they, they call Canadians in Are Florida. Still, they call Canadians snowbirds. It's about yeah. me, uh, Scarface. Look at the bird, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, but uh, um, the... Um, fly, little bird, fly! <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> yeah. I love that movie oh, it's, Scarface I, I watch that anytime it comes on you know, that and Predator you yeah, know but I, like uh, I just uh, I, I, I had a two month return on my ticket so a few of my friends back home said uh, you're gonna you'll be back you know and uh, that that may be the case if I didn't get a job so it was based on whether I got work or not if I got a job so I I, I got this uh, I went into this gym in uh it was one of the, the, the last few around uh, um, the, uh, of, that, of that chain of gyms. I'm trying to think of it. it uh, who was that, that, that tr uh, workout guru? Joe that, Weider? Uh, not Joe Weider. Um, Jack Lane. Jack Lane. Jack okay. Lane. Real Remember guy. he was towing all those boats. Yeah, he's a yeah, real guy. Yeah. Real rough guy. Yeah. And he wasn't playing around. No, I know. And one of the last uh, of the Jack Lane uh, health clubs was you know, on, uh, in an area in Orange County. So I basically, um, went in there with, with a friend who was a member who was from Canada and, um, his girlfriend was from Canada. There was a big demand for nurses. From, so there was a bunch of nurses from Canada that were her friends, which worked out good for me, but, um, oh, really? yeah. And, uh, um, and I talked to the guy, the manager of the place and he was from Toronto originally, Toronto, Canada. And so knowing I was Canadian, I, I, I just, Made up a social security number and, and kind of uh, really? started to work and yeah I got I, that's my, my my that was my first job. You're a citizen. I wasn't a citizen. No, but you're a citizen now. I'm a citizen. Yeah. <laughs> no, well actually I'm a, I'm still a permanent resident. Oh, okay. I didn't go from I haven't gone from my citizenship. Oh, that's a lot of work. It's a lot safer to travel with a Canadian passport than oh, yeah? with an American passport. <laughs> yeah. It's an Americano. Yeah. So bang bang. Yeah. But basically that that was. Uh, you know, if I if I got a job, I'd stay. If I didn't get a job, I would uh, be back in Canada. And uh, the cards had it where I, I got a job and started working. And uh, I got to the point where I was managing health clubs. Really? Yeah. Wow. Health so, clubs? Like a chain yeah. of them? Like, well, just, I wasn't a supervisor, but I was like, I manage one, you know, during, mm -hmm. during the week type of thing. And then you have assistant manager, you have your third type of thing. It's, it's depending on how you gross in sales and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I, I worked my way up there and, and got to be, but there's hardcore sales and, and a lot, it used to be hardcore sales. Yeah. They listen to your interviews on, on signing up a, a, a couple on, on a family uh, really? membership. Oh yeah. It was, it was hardcore sales. So Jacqueline. Yeah. He wasn't playing. He was, it was, yeah. And, and it'd be at your peak, huh? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I actually was like, kind of like doing personal training for some people back then. Mm -hmm. And I know even a lot more now because I never, you never know everything. Mm -hmm. So the whole time that I've worked out all my life, I, I pick up things from other people. I see someone doing something and I, I say, you know, how's that work for you? You know, uh, you know, what, mm -hmm. what's that? How's it helping you? If I think that person's in good shape and, and is doing something for his shoulders or something like that, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try it or something like that. So I'm always like, always open and learning and i think people have to have to you know be like that they, they can't like 
know it all, you know? Yeah. I, I, my grandma always told me, stay humble. Stay humble. Yeah. Because you can be, become very blind. Mm -hmm. You think you're a big shot. Like yeah. Billy Joel says. Yeah. Tell you how to be a big shot, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a fact, I think. Yeah. Oh, be yeah. careful. Yeah. That's but. that's the problem. That's you know, because I, I remember someone saying to me before, um, what were they saying? They said, uh they go, if I if I was as well known or as popular as you, I'd be full of myself. And he goes and he goes, You're just you're just down to grounded and down to earth. I said, Yeah. I, I've always been grounded. I've always, you know, never yeah. Never take things for granted and just kind of appreciate everything that you get. And, and that's why I always like, you know, shout it out to the, the fans and stuff like that to say, you know, I wouldn't have what I have if it wasn't for you, you know, yeah. you people. So and you did good. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, after, um, you know, working for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so you're in California, right? Yeah. I want to know the difference. You're like a hometown boy from Canada, but now Some you're small, yeah. small town. Yeah. But now you're in like one of the most beautiful places in the world beach palm mm -hmm. trees sun fun mm -hmm. how are the girls compared to canada <sighs> um and how are they treating you is well, the main question well uh i'll put it this way there obviously there's a lot more beautiful women in california because not everybody's originally from california mm -hmm. so a lot of the the more beautiful women more beautiful people you know they migrate to, to california or they in the east coast they migrate to florida Mm -hmm. So you, that's uh, what I noticed by having, because I had my own video store in in, uh, in in Florida, in Tampa. So that's why I kind of know all these people are, are from, all these beautiful women were from other states close to Florida. And then um, the ones in California were like, you know, Midwest or uh, it could be New York, it could be East Coast too, oh, you know, right. in California. So there's a lot more beautiful women. But in my hometown, I tell you, there's some there's some beautiful women. I mean, it was it was more like a university town because there's a lot of universities there, and mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely some uh, there was some like model potential girls that mm -hmm. probably didn't even realize it. Well, how did they uh, treat you compared? I mean, you know what I mean. Treat they're a little you? more they're a little more conser they're a little more conservative, but they're they're nice in Canada. They're nice, yeah. The the people in general are nice. But yeah. you know, is the mentality of Canada compared to? California, the girls are like, "Hey, come get it! It's it's open. We're open for business in L in Cal in Orange County, yeah. or is it just the same?" Um, I I, I kind of think it's in some cases it's the same, in some cases they're a little more conservative back where I'm from. Oh, you got yeah. a data more. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, it's it's the the thing is that it's like. You grow up in, a, in a, an area, or if you're in an area like California, you could be dating someone that's pretty far away and that you wouldn't run into yeah. Oh, yeah. on another date. It's dangerous and like in that. Canada. Yeah. And back in my hometown, you know, you, you get, that's that was the main... We're, I was in the capital city, Halifax. So, How many people were there? Well, I know the population now is like about 500,000. I mean, so it's a good it's a good size. So one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand back then. Uh, probably about three hundred thousand. Oh, that's still like pretty that. big. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got your outlying areas, and and uh -huh. and you've got your all sm uh, small fishing villages along the coast, and smaller towns and stuff like that. Well known, Lunenburg is really well known. So Halifax actually was the had the first uh, ships that went out to rescue the people from the Titanic. No shit. Yeah, really? yeah. There's a museum. Oh. There's a and there's a burial. There's a burial site for the Titanic. So they were close to Canada, you're saying? It was. It went down like close to Newfoundland and, and Nova Scotia, the uh, Titanic. Uh, uh, yeah. I didn't know. That. Huh. So the, being the busiest port, Halifax, they had the, they were the first ships that, that went to, you know for the, on the uh, mm -hmm. on the SOS call, you know. So going way back. Yeah, huh? that's going. And there's a and there's a uh, actual burial uh, site like for the people of Titanic that didn't the people that their loved ones that didn't come and in, in, you know mm -hmm. identify or. or Bring them back to their homeland and stuff like that. So they, there's an actual burial site. And I think there's a there's hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was like um, Jack Dawson, like where a bunch of girls put flowers after the movie Titanic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a, there was a burial site there that I was told. Um, I haven't I had not seen it. So did I, you like that movie? Um, it was okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit far fetched. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was okay. I right. just yeah. I always I always say I, I always look at the like. How in the hell did they, you know, think that they, you know, could 
avoid like an iceberg and not uh, what they're doing, you know, like with the, how they got into that position in the first place. But, you know, there was a story behind it and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a bad situation for sure. Yeah. So, uh, so um, you're in Cali, Orange County, beautiful. You get a lot of action with the girls? Um, I didn't do too bad. In Orange how County. many did you knock down? <laughs> I didn't really put a number on it. I had, I had a friend that actually had every name... I had full, a, full name and the the first name and last name of every woman that he he had been with. Really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Damn. a lot. Um, well, he he wasn't picky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. Not to say that I, I was picky. I just, you know, you're attracted to what you're attracted to. You yeah. Know? And um, he um, he actually went for older women. Oh, that's easier targets. Yeah, he went for older women. I mean, mm -hmm. older women. Oh, that's real easy. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I um, I had like a good number of girlfriends, well, and you know. But I mean, let's just say, before you got in the business in Cali, mm -hmm. you got ten, twenty, thirty. Over. Yeah. Over a hundred. Oh yeah! <laughs> really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Really? It wasn't like I was trying to hit that century number oh. mark, but you know. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. seriously. You're really yeah. you're getting down. It could be, well, it depends on if you had a, uh, if you. It depends on if you have a girlfriend or not. No, it doesn't. You know what? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. If I had a girlfriend, I, I was pretty. I was pretty. Pretty loyal. Yeah, I was. I was like pretty know, loyal or loyal. I was loyal. All right. Yeah. So I mean, let's say I, I don't want to make things complicated. Like if I, I had a, um, I had a black book with uh, there was about eight, seven or eight girls that I was I was dating at one time, but as soon as you get serious with one and that's your weekend that's that's your you have to you're uh -huh. with her in the weekend so right. i had to cut i had to cut Lock close down. off the other the other mm -hmm. you know if i was seeing something serious because it's just too it's too, it's disrespectful you don't want you wouldn't want them to do it to you you yeah, know what i'm saying for sure so i just uh i was pretty cool about that i i like if i got serious with one and and so i'm going to be spending the weekend with her you know and and the weekends were the big thing, you know, not, not a lot of times you go out on, on weekdays, although they do now, you know, cause right, there's, working, yeah. there's, there's, uh, you know, taco Tuesdays and stuff uh -huh. like that. So, um, yeah, I was just, I was, I was, I kept it pretty, uh, so, in check. I was kept myself pretty in check. So yeah, I think you're, <clears throat> the math is something like you're 25 when you hit Cali, something like around that age. Um, uh, you're actually, I turned 25 in Cali. Right. Yeah. Okay. So 24, yeah. 25. I had my uh, 25th birthday in California. Okay. Yeah. So you're a quarter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're, and then how long before you got into business? Um, I got into business indirectly. Not, I wasn't even thinking about the business. I never even like thought, I, didn't think about getting into business. It wasn't even, it wasn't even on my mind, you know? So I got to hear that story. Yeah. No. Um, I, I basically, uh, um, I think I was, Jesus, it's interesting how time flies. I think I was like at the end of my, um, not the end, maybe 26, about to turn 27. So, pretty, so about 26. So fairly soon yeah, after you got well, to yeah, Cali. It was, it was almost like a, maybe a couple of years. If you're talking hmm. about, take a few, uh, take a month here or there, you know? Hmm. So, wow. yeah. That was pretty quick. So then you knocked down 100 in pretty much a year. Um, so you're pretty busy, man. <laughs> well, I'm actually, when I gave that number, it was not just the, before I got in the business. I, I, I stand corrected. Oh. I stand corrected because oh, really? it, was, it okay. wasn't before I got in the business. It was when I was in the business also. I would take breaks oh, okay. from the business and, and for my social life oh, and stuff. I, I turned down some work because they, you know... You yourself know they they would want you to work seven days a week and you oh. could and you did work seven days a week, uh, you know. Oh, I'll take everything I can get. Yeah, so I I, I wanted to kind of normalize my my life so I, I didn't you know lose my mind or anything like that. Um, and I would take weekends off because a lot of people have weekends off. You know? oh, yeah, you just you always been kind of like even yeah. even tempered. So so in Canada, how many girls did you knock down before you left? But you said you're hitting a club, so you're knocking down some women. Yeah. This is a numbers yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I had a girlfriend for three years, so, uh, I don't know, maybe about 20-something, 30. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
That was good. Yeah. And yeah. then you, you came out here and you knocked oh, down a hundred, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But, so in the f three or four years, outside maybe? Outside the business. Yeah, that's, outside. That, that's what I was kind of like okay. saying. Oh, More like the outside the business. I was, Period? When you, when you mentioned that, I wasn't thinking before okay. I actually got in the business. Okay. You know? and so I was thinking just... Elapsed amount of time. Yeah. Elapsed growth. Outside the business. Okay. Outside not in the business. Yeah. Not so. in the year, but just yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, so. When I, was, I got in the business when I was 21, mm -hmm. and I had a black book, and... You know, I had already knocked down a buck fifty, right? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was wow. just getting warmed up. I had a good you personality, really? and the girls would tell their girlfriends, mm -hmm. right? Hey, because I'd I'd dig them out for sometimes eight hours, yeah. ten hours. You know, they come in at twelve and they're begging by seven, eight o'clock. Help, let me out of here, <laughs> come on, baby, just a little longer. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> right? they couldn't keep up. No, I just was, you know, Cyborg. the girl was a great. I was just yeah. like, ah, right. Yeah. And there was this two sisters that used to live with me, Terry and. Jill, and I always had that crush on Terry, and what's up if you see this? <laughs> anyways, so anyways, um, tell me, this is the big question. Here we go. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty. How did you get in the business? Um, I, I did some, uh, some, some photo shoots, and I think some of the, the photographers, um, Put the word out, you know. Or, but how'd you get to the photo shoots? Um, someone that worked at uh, Jack Lane, as a matter of fact. Another, this, this guy was actually like a, a bodybuilder dude. Like he was like steroids mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. He was, he was pretty buffed out. And I, when he told me about steroids, that's when I, I knew I was going to stay away from I wouldn't all touch right. that shit. Um, and so he introduced me to the, the one photographer and just, you know, you, you do photo shoots, you take, you get paid. Nude? Um, Simulated nude, S simulated, simulated nude type of thing. Yeah. Simulated yeah. with a girl. Yeah, yeah, and or or even by yourself with a sword or some some kind of like uh -huh. you know Whatever some kind proper. of like chains Whatever. or a sword or something like uh -huh. that. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Yeah, and so it kind of um, segued me into uh, into the business, and um, I uh, I kind of like whoa, I didn't even know this was going on. So you do some magazines. Yeah. And and then how do you do? How do you move from there? Just uh, you know, I was in quite a bit of debt. Okay, owed really? some money. Yeah, and I didn't know it to the bank. The mob. I'm not saying <laughs> I, I, I will not say a thing. Really, you owed uh, money is to loan sharks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But why? You were gambling. What were you no, doing? No, just it was it was it was hard. It was tough getting different jobs because the better the job, the more they look into your background. And so when you're using a fake social security number and all that kind of stuff, it's not easy. I got rid of the accent and the A at the end of uh, take off, eh? Yeah, yeah, right. Got rid of that shit, you know? So, um, but everybody thought I had a little bit of an accent, kind of like from Washington. I said I was from Washington, D.C. or something like that, yeah. Huh. So it wasn't a heavy, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a Boston uh, mm -hmm. accent or anything like that. So, yeah. And uh, I, uh, I, uh, I went to Jim Siles. How did you get to Jim Siles? Um, I was told about it. I, I was given the information. Really? About Jim Siles, yeah. By who? I mean, this is 1983? Uh, 84. 84? April, uh, April of 84. April of 84. Yeah. And you're giving Jim Siles information? Yeah. I mean, Jim South. I mean, do you know what that kind of information that is? That's like the lucky chocolate, Willy Wonka chocolate. <laughs> Factory. Gold chocolate ticket bar. Yeah, I guess so. If you want an analogy, that would be, that would be it. Jim was the man. Yeah. yeah and, he, and he welcomed you in. How'd it go? Yeah, it went great. He was, he was from, uh, he was from uh, Texas originally. And he was a Dallas Cowboy fan, and so was I. So we got along great. You, well, you, you just came in there and said... Well, I had some photos. I had like a, a, a photo thing where... I um I had like a I took I had like kind of like a heart on and I I took something I tied it around I tied I put it down and tied it around and kept it where you couldn't really see what was it was something on there so it was looking like it was hanging you know uh -huh. about almost nine inches <laughs> nine, or around nine <laughs> inches down just a little uh, just a little bit uh, under you know uh -huh. so it looked like it was like you know hanging like John Holmes type of thing you know uh -huh. so. So, and then uh, a couple other photos with a, a Chippendales collar and all that kind of bullshit that, you know, they used to do back in the day, so. Huh. Yeah. I think I got a picture of you here. Oh, no. <laughs> it might have been close to that time. 
You dug up that. He dug up that. You still have that picture, huh? No, no, that's a different picture. Oh, okay. This is a. Uh, I'm guessing that's is that close to that time? You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I I thought it was like in good shape back then. Look at that. And I, I really wasn't. 1984? I mean, I was, yeah, I, I was okay. Your shoulders, though. I see your shoulders popping out. Yeah, but I was okay. But I really didn't get to, uh, I really didn't develop really well until like my, uh, probably my late 30s, early 40s. Really? I was, I've been in better shape in my 40s and, and 50s. Look at that. What are you saying? That look familiar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that is. It's me and uh, uh, Peter North counting down. <laughs> right? Yeah, Sometime. Tag team. Did you work with me the most out of everybody? Yeah. Side by side? Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. so 1984, man, you're in the business, Jim South. Who's your first job? Um, the director and... I don't remember the director's name. No? I, I, I forgot that like a while back, but I remember like that first scene I did was up on Mulholland Drive. It was at a house location, so they rent out houses just like, you know, regular movies rent out houses and locations. Um, the business rented out this location uh, over over top of uh, Universal Studios, mm. above in a redwood deck, and everybody was kind of laying out nude before the, they started the scene and everything. So I just kind of laid out nude, and and I was, uh, I uh, it was a scene with uh, three girls. What? Yeah. What <laughs> your first scene? Three girls, myself, and. Uh, oh. This one other guy, Biff Malibu. No, yeah. no, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh man, that was easy because you made him look real, well, he, he, real. He couldn't, he, he couldn't, he couldn't do the scene. How could he do a scene with a big thing? But, so I had to carry the, I carried the whole messing up his head. Yeah, uh, yeah, I carried the whole scene. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I carried the whole scene. And then when the the, the pop shot was done, they were like. He, I think the director was on the phone with Jim South right away. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, he, he was on the phone with Jim South right away because Jim said, uh, got a hold of me somehow. I think he called me or something like that. And yeah, He must have been like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, so the work started happening real fast. Nobody ever seen that before. Yeah. It was like, it was, it was, I think I was, I was kind of laying back. I think it was going uh, against gravity. It was going upwards. Uh -huh. And I thought it was like a volcano eruption. Oh, yeah, it's kind of yeah. like the Yellowstone, Old Faithful. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Young Faithful at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so any of the girls familiar, like, you know, the three girls, any of those stars? You remember? Um, no, not, not, they didn't really, huh? they no? didn't last that long. Yeah, okay. They didn't stay that long in the business, yeah. I mean, was that, were you nervous at all? Actually, you know, for some weird reason, I wasn't. You're a killer. Be no, be <laughs> because we were, it. It, the setup uh, as before this before we actually had to do the scene, everybody out in the redwood deck like na laying naked, mm -hmm. kind of like okay, just, uh, just really don't just it was almost like being at a nude beach, yeah. you know. And you were so told you acclimate to uh, I acclimated like really quick, wow. more than I ever thought. I didn't really think. See, that's the problem with people, guys that get in the business. They think too much, you know. Before, you know, before they had you, you know, could Viagra think and all, yeah. that, they, all the all the the helpers they have now, but in that back in that day, they were thinking too much. You'd think about it too much. I just let things happen naturally. You very relaxed. Yeah, I was relaxed. Mentality. It was just like stable. I had my hands behind my head, just kind of. Really? Yeah. I, wow. One time, one time in the scene, I had my hands behind my three head. Three girls. Yeah. First time. I mean, were you excited? Because that's three girls. No, we're going, oh yeah. I was like, like, yeah. What the hell? Was, uh, and I'm getting paid. I mean, did you think about that too? Yeah. What it, what registered in your it, it yeah. was like it, it, it registered it didn't register right then it reg like I, I didn't even think about the money at that point right, right then yeah. I was just into the moment and having Beautiful. having a good time yeah I was like fuck yeah this is funny. <laughs> this is great this is crazy I, I could definitely enjoy this and yeah stay for a while you know uh, so was anybody special on the set any you know big shots no no All, I, that's that's why I remember that first scene because okay. it, because I had to carry that first scene and that's when I made, was made aware that my pop shot my cum shot was not normal it was like everybody was saying he's got two prostate glands or whatever you know type of thing you know, all this stuff it's just it was all the different rumors that came up it, it, it was crazy yeah the mystique yeah mysterious because yeah. I must have asked you about five trillion times yeah what's the secret yeah 
Uh, you never uh, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you told me something you last year. It. No, this year you told me something. Yeah, you didn't need it. Yeah, I didn't need it. Yeah, that would have been it. the right. I didn't yeah. even think about it, really. Yeah. I did thought about it, but it's really hard to have a big shot. People would say in my moves, oh, uh, he's got a bad pop shot. Well, all I can tell you is try working four scenes a day, almost 30 days a month, and let's see what you got, homeboy. Huh? <laughs> That's huh? true. What? That's true. You know, anyways. That's true, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Anyway, so, <laughs> but and, so it's, and it's and it kind of is, it's how um, it's how you're uh, if you're dehydrated or not yeah. too. Vitamin E dehydrate, you know, being dehydrated and stuff. Like uh -huh. that, you want to be really hydrated yeah. and stuff like that, and and then you build it up. If you like build it up, where you get where you're close, but you you don't you go to, to almost the top of the thermometer, but you don't let it happen. Uh -huh. I used to do that when I was younger. Actually, now that uh -huh. I remember, before you got before I like, even had a girlfriend. I used to uh, like well. masturbate and, and to get really close and then stop and then keep it there. And then I could stop. Was oh, so he already like a pro? I was already like conditioning myself yeah. for, the, for the big leagues, I so mean, to speak, I guess. I mean, it's like, come on, man. You're like an X-Man. If there was an X-Man in the adult business, right? X-Men, you know, yeah. uh, movie or something. You Wolverine. Would, yeah, you would have to be in there because <laughs> yeah. of that. Yeah. I might be in there because I had stamina yeah, you, yeah. and mentality. My focus, you know, you couldn't break my focus. No, no, I mean, and especially sometimes you, I remember you telling me that, you know, BJ's weren't the, your oh, favorite thing and like you it. had no problem just getting hard. You know? Yeah. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> it was like, when I, I knew I was right, uh, there was a, there was a couple of times we did, there was a couple of scenes where I came out of the gate a little before you. Uh, and I remember, uh, um, I remember uh, a scene with Jenna Jameson. That, that was you got time. me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of, I was already kind of doing stuff with her while you were, you know. Really? But you, you, oh. got, you got in there, you made up for it. So it's like, you never, I've never seen, like, i never seen you like how they have to like stop the camera or wait for you. Never. No, I don't, I don't, I've never seen that. And, and I can't say the same for myself. I mean, but even when they stop the camera, and they've done it for a lot of guys in the business. They've done it for a lot of guys. And I, I said, you know, just, you guys can just, you don't have to be quiet. Just continue on doing what you're doing. Uh -huh. You know, I had, I get my mindset and, uh -huh. you know, get into it and get hard and I'm ready to go. So, you know, it's just that they always want to be like, you know, don't. Yeah, don't give you any pressure. It makes yeah, it worse. Yeah. And, Actually. And, and people put pressure on themselves, though. Yeah, the mentality, yeah. people don't understand the mentality mm -hmm. without Viagra and mm -hmm. big sets mm -hmm. and the mystique. But you you kind of, seems to me like you beat it a little bit. So you do your first scene and it's great. So already you got a little built-in confidence. Yeah. I mean, you're ready to strike again. Ready yeah. to, I'm not strike, but ready to hit a home run again. Yeah. So what happens, what's the next scene? I think it was in that in that big set when uh, John Leslie was uh, the main uh, the lead role, no kidding. Character, yeah, and I, 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 it was called Stiff Competition. Oh yeah, that was the name oh. of it. Yeah, by Caballero or something like that. The, yeah. the company that was way, way back that was a big, huge yeah. company. Yeah, right. And uh, it was Stiff Competition. That was that was the name of the movie. I remember that. Second yeah. scene. Yeah. Any famous girls there uh, that you worked with or saw? No, I don't think there was any anybody in particular that was, that I, I, I. The only names that I ever heard of were. Um, uh, uh, John Holmes and um, Marilyn Chambers. All right. You, you, that, you heard of them that, before? I've heard of them before. Yeah. All right. So heard the names before. Did you work, end up working with them? I think I ended. Up, I think I ended up working with Marilyn Chambers. Yeah. 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 You. And I never. I, I think John Holmes was on a set um, that I was on before uh, Batman or I don't know Dick Man and Throbbing. Right. Yeah, so and Batman and Robin. You saw him. You him. talked to him. Um, I didn't talk to him. Huh? Uh, he was. I. I think he was not even on the days that I worked. The, the day I worked, I don't think he was on working the same day. Oh, okay. Oh, so you slipped by. Yeah. But you so, guys took his spot as the king. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, all right. So John Leslie, right? Mm -hmm. What is it like to meet John Leslie? Did you know he? You didn't really know he was anybody, right? Yeah, I, I didn't know, but I know he was like good at what. A great actor, and then got to know him as a person, unbelievable person, incredible. Huh? Yeah, he's passionate. an unbelievable person, very, very uh, um, uh, passionate. Yeah, very passionate. Like you know, if there's some something bothering you, or he, you know, he's he was like, why did I can compare him to? It's like, like Al Pacino at his best. I was gonna say that Al yeah. Pacino at his best. That's that's what yeah. John Leslie reminded me. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was very nice to me, and yeah. he gave me a shot, and he liked me. 
he could tell, see something in me, mm -hmm. even though I, I knew who he was. Right. Because I was a big porn fan. Okay. Right? So and You were a porn fan. I wasn't. Yeah, so, yeah. Huge porn fan. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And, you know, I, yeah, it was nice of him to, he was nice, man. Yeah. He's just a real nice guy. guy. Really good guy. And I know he put you in that one movie called The Pillow Man. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? What was it about? Yeah. I, I uh, it was about. You're on the cover, right? Yeah. I think. Yeah, I was yeah. on the cover with, uh, I'm trying to think of who it was that was on the cover with me, but uh, I'm trying to think of her name. I'm like really bad on names sometimes, you know, going that part, part back. But mm -hmm. um, the pillow man was, you know, because it was a thing about my hair back in the day. It was like I didn't want anybody to touch my hair, mess it up. Type oh of yeah, thing. always. But in my personal life, I didn't, I didn't mind. I didn't care. You know. Yeah. So you knew, on, you knew right away that you had to look good on camera. Yeah, I try to look, you know, try to look uh -huh. okay on camera. So you're a little, um, self a little vain, a little on. The... Well, more self conscious yeah. than vain. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it was vain or self conscious. You know, it could be a little bit of both. You know, right. but uh, I remember uh, you. Don't... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, right, you run down the street. Yeah. The girl's trying to mess your hair up. But but the thing is, so he, he think Savannah messed your hair up one time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he based and and I think Christy Canyon did too. <laughs> yeah, she was a sweetheart. Um, still is. Um, yeah, great. But uh, I, uh, I I do remember that movie being kind of centered around like just you know not just my hair, but it was just an interesting script. And John Leslie was like, I mean, serious about knowing your knowing your your lines and knowing your mm -hmm. your character and knowing your script. Because that, that's why he was a great actor. I mean, yeah. he, he was he, he could easily be a mainstream actor, yeah. you know. So he, I remember we had to rehearse. And, really? Well, yeah. That, must have been fun. Yeah. I mean, kind of, because yeah. it's like you're making something worth looking at. Right. He actually... Yeah. And you're the star, man. Yeah. Any movie, I think any movie he directed, he probably was, you know, making sure that everything was on point, you know, with how it, it should, how they should portray it and stuff like that. And, you know, so he was, he was definitely a director, director. Yeah. I mean, you know, not just being there and saying, you know, okay, uh, let's go. And then uh, cut, you know, he's not, he just, he's intense. He's very passionately intense on, on uh, his, 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 his body of work, you know, what he was putting out. And, and yeah. so what he wanted us to deliver as actors and actresses, he, uh, he definitely was looking for, you know, the best out of everybody. He brought the best out of everybody. I, 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 I probably did the best acting in that, in that really? movie, The Pillow Man, yeah. I probably was just you just being natural, you know. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Any girls that you can remember that were good? You know, no, there's just stuff? some funny shit in that movie. No, the star, no star girls. Um, no, no, not really any huh? any big names at that time. I think one girl may have become bigger at, at you know a bigger star later on, but oh. at that time, no. Okay, so I want to talk about right about that time, not the Pillow Man, but right before you know when you're meeting John. Yeah, you know. You have all these actors, in my opinion, that were really actors, right? Mm -hmm. You have, let's go down the list, right? You have Jamie Gillis. Jamie Gillis. Right? I mean, great acting. Cool, man. right? Yeah. Crazy, crazy motherfucker, yeah. right? Yeah. Jamie Gillis. You have Joey. Severa. Yeah, yeah. Joey Severa. Yeah. You have Paul Thomas. Yeah. Right? You have Randy West, Jerry Butler. All of the better actors. Right. You know, all of the better actors, yeah. And but probably Herschel Savage was around. I guess yeah. he's an actor. Too. He has yeah. a good voice. Herschel, I, I, I think I saw when I came to California. I saw him like in a, in a short, like little scene type of thing, and I thought, damn, that guy is a pretty, pretty good actor. Yeah, you know? he has a very good voice. Yeah. So you have all these guys that really can act, mm -hmm. and there's, and Eric Edwards too was part of those guys. Was yeah. he? Was he still working then, Ooh. Eric Edwards? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Remember, he yeah, was tall, yeah, good-looking guy. Around, yeah. See, like P.T. and... He was an all-American guy. Yeah, yeah P.T. Yeah. and Eric Edwards would be the guys, tall, handsome. Yeah. It would have probably, the girls would say, hey, you know, yeah, yeah. like a John Doe yeah. type, maybe a little bit, right? There wasn't like a, there wasn't like a big flood of, of guys in the, in the right. business. And, and a lot of women um, related the, uh, the business to be with, uh, you know, like a, a beautiful, attractive women and seedy-looking guys. You know, yeah. because they were seeing movies with John, with uh, um, Ron Jeremy and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, uh, they, 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 he was seedy looking. Yeah, he looked like he, he's a hedgehog. <laughs> I mean, he might try. He depicted, he depicted that 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 image that you know they may have seen in like a few other guys that were not you know too appealing to the eye, not uh -huh. really, you know. That, that hurt the eye, you know, instead of like, you know, the, the, it's not hard on the eyes. <laughs> the, the, he, they were hard on the eyes, you know, especially Ron Jeremy. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, he he became. But when you're joking, he, he wasn't a, a bad looking he guy. He became a cult a cult figure, but not because of his looks or <laughs> his his scenes or his performance. At, 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 any imagination? I think I, I, in my book, I um, depicted him as a, he could have been the pimp at a bordello in Turkey. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you yeah. know, like, hey, come on in. Yeah. But I like Ron, you know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, he pissed you off, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you want to say anything about no, that? No, no, he's just, okay. this is a little bit of a backstabber, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, so, I, I'm real, and I'm, uh, I say what, you know, I say what it is, and how it is and so yeah you find out the true color but then i'm hearing it from i'm hearing it from a a, a third party oh, yeah. so you can't always and that third party is not you know i would not yeah i would take that with a grain of salt okay yeah, yeah. i mean i never heard ron talk any shit yeah but um so i like back to that point you have these guys these guys are solid people yeah. solid actors mm -hmm. but i wasn't there you know you were there yeah. so i kind of want to know right. how good performers were they you know I me mean? because yeah. joey told me that pt was a maniac and that he could perform under any type of circumstances mm -hmm. he was really strong and he and he says he says why should i have sex unless i'm doing drugs yeah. <laughs> that's so what he so, says yeah, right yeah. but anyways so how were they as performers like who stands in your mind these those guys you know that were strong they're professionals but do they have the high power energy like i might give you know I, maniac I, I, I wouldn't think so i no because i didn't i didn't really s stick around to watch anybody else's scene no that's one thing i i i, I know i had a scene coming up or uh -huh. something like that so i wouldn't i wouldn't even bother watching the scenes because and i in the room and you would know about it you know by the rumors and stuff and you know talk and stuff like that there, if, there was nothing special about uh, uh their performance that i would have heard no? you know type of thing they probably performed a, a good enough because uh -huh. they would have to be able to perform right. so they perform good enough i'm not saying they i and i can't really say for sure how they perform mm -hmm. because they never really watched their scenes you know mm -hmm. and john okay. leslie i just watched for acting and, and, mm -hmm. and i saw him and and Paul Thomas, I think I watched for acting a little bit, and then Eric Edwards, same thing. I just watched their presence and their and their acting ability, and and they actually delivered, you know, on the mm -hmm. acting part. Yeah, of, you know? but this, but you didn't work side by side. I know you worked side by side with Joey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, Joey's a solid performer. Yeah, Joey's a solid performer. He's always yeah, he's always solid. Performer. But um, like you didn't he, work. He was a good performer. He you worked good. side by side with Jerry Butler. Um. Yeah, I think. Uh, I was. Yeah, I think I was on uh, side by side with Jerry Butler. Yeah. How was he? He was uh, he was okay. Okay, up yeah. and down. Yeah, yeah. Right. What yeah. about? But his acting and, and everything right. else, his sense of humor and stuff. He was a he was a great guy. Yeah, yeah I liked him. Yeah. I mean, I met him a few times only because yeah. at the end, you know, when I got in. Yeah. But he seemed pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, cool. Randy West is a solid performer. Yeah, Randy's cool. always been. Yeah. Always been. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. you know he was a little bit he's a strong guy. Yeah. So a little bit strong. Yeah. But when you know he's got he got that marble. Yeah. Uh, marble. <laughs> cool mustache. Looking, looking guy. You know? Yeah, he had yeah. a great look. Yeah. He had a great yeah, look. Yeah, and, and distinct look. Jamie Gillis was a maniac, but he, when I every time I met Jamie Gillis, you say, "This guy, is something attractive about him." Not you know, like I like the way he looks, but you want to get to know him, and you like listening to him, and he was he just made cool. You feel comfortable. He was cool. He made you feel comfortable. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's why I thought Jamie yeah. Gillis was cool as hell. Yeah, he was very cool. He was very a good, cool. a fair performer. Yeah, fair performer. Fair performer. And just he just made you feel comfortable. He, he was, was just, cool. Yeah. He was very very cool. It was kind of like that. You know, like the way he, he would talk to you, he was just really nice guy, really nice guy. So yeah, I mean, I, was was it? You know, There's a lot of film shooting back then. Yeah. So it was, it was more. It's very vintage, you know, just to think that you're yeah. part of. I mean, you're a humongous part of the history of the adult business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Huge part, like you know, and so the film and mm -hmm. all this and that. I don't know how does it make you feel sometimes. Um. I, I that was it's, I don't really think about it a lot, but towards the end, you know, of certain parts of my career in the business, I thought like, man, that was like, that was a pretty interesting time back then, because it's not it's completely changing and everything is so different. And then, and then, even when I got in, even in the nineties, I mean, when you got in the two thousands, it's like it, it became even even different, you know, even a little more. Oh. You know, a little more. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say 
is I wouldn't say I don't know if it, if it, I'd say one is better than the other, but I I said I would think that back in the day the vintage stuff was done with uh, with uh, um, a little more passion, you know, um, and not not really trying to trying to make get everything across as real, you know, get everything across as real. Where uh, as it, the years went on, you know, you wouldn't see. Um, some women want to get their lipstick messed up or something to kiss or anything like that. Yeah. And it's like, and so I thought that was kind of strange. I thought that, you know, anytime you got a scene, there should be some, you know, kissing some passion going on because that's what, you know, gets, gets, that would get me turned on. Yeah. Know? Yeah. It's like, um, an explosion. If you kiss just right, you know, with the girl, I think, you know, it hits your senses and yeah. gets me going always yeah. if the girl's hot, you know, it's kind of like 9-11, like today. Mm-hmm. Today's 9-11. Yeah, you know? I know. Uh, 2019. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that day because I was supposed to, uh, uh, that was a horrible day, but I was supposed to. 2001, fl- of course, yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to fly uh, to Montreal to shoot, you know, for North Pole, you know, my company. Uh-huh. And uh, we had an agent up there that had like a, a bunch of, um, a number of French Canadian girls, some pretty hot girls uh-huh. in Montreal. And uh, we were supposed to fly that day, and I just, I was stuck to the TV, just watching all oh, day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's, was, that was that was a terrible, horrible. Yeah, I, I was in, believe it or not, I had just <clears throat> flew in the the DR a day before, and I was supposed to take that same flight. Oh, are you serious? But you know, but I was, but I was on that same flight. But you know, I the connecting, yeah, the, something the, like that, yeah, some connection. connector. But I was in DR. And me and Franco Roccaforte, I'm shooting my movies, Hot Latin Pussy out there in, you know, yeah. Porta Plata, right? Oh, okay. Right? It's way out there. And we're looking at the TV. We're going, what the fuck is so that? So you guys get grounded in... in yeah. Uh, I mean, we're like, you yeah. can't get to America. Get the, but I mean, I, w- I just got there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're going to stay there for a week or two, right. you know, collecting, you know, scenes, shooting yeah. scenes, you know, talking to girls. But... I was like, well, this was a really unbelievable. You don't yeah. even seem real. It seems yeah. like a, like a dream or something fake. Know, huh? But it's terrible. Yeah. But anyways, nine eleven today. But we don't yeah. talk about that. You yeah. know what I mean? God bless. Yeah. yeah, the people that are lost. You know, yeah. we hope and the people that had to deal with the losses. Yeah. You know, um, God bless your spirit, and yeah. you know, or you know, some you know, may your spirit be at peace and yeah. rest. Yeah. You know, not the ones that are dead, those people too, but the people that have to deal with the losses because that's, yeah. you're still around and you got to deal with these losses. Yeah. It's a heartbreak. It's, it's pretty hard. You know, hard, yeah. to, hard to li- move on, I'm yeah. sure, with some people, you know? Yeah. So uh, you're in a time where people don't know, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. it's illegal. It's illegal to shoot adult movies. At, 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 at a certain time when right. I was in it, that was illegal. As a matter of fact, I was going to mention earlier that on that set, of, of uh, Dick Man and Throbbing, um, not the day I worked, not the day I shot, but I, it was a four day shoot. And I think I worked one or two days or something like that, maybe one day. And then uh, it, I heard it was raided, you know. What? People, the police came in through the. Wait, the say that again, because it, it was raided. The day before? The day after you said? Um, I think the day after I, I shot, yeah. Whoa, no shit. Yeah. And that happened on another set I, I was on. I, I wasn't there the day, the, the day really? I worked, and then it get raided the day I wasn't there. Really? Yeah. Wow, you got a little luck on your side. Oh, at least a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got through some shit lately, but... Yeah. yeah. But, wow, so what'd you hear about what, I mean, what'd you, what happened? What'd you hear? I just heard that, uh, you know, they got raided because it, it was illegal to shoot the scenes in Los Angeles County, mm-hmm. but you could... You know, put out the movies. You could sell yeah. the movies. It's, it's, like, it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, so that's when a lot of people started to shoot up in San Francisco. Uh-oh. You know, shoot shoot the movies up in San Francisco, and then you know, put them put them distribute them out in the in the valley. You know, oh, so the valley. So they started cracking down in the eighty four, eighty five, and then they said, "Let's get out of here. Let's shoot more in Frisco." I think they were shooting Frisco to begin with more. That's where a lot of you know Joey and PT came from Frisco time. Oh, in the films and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But um yeah, I, I'm not sure what you, what years it, it, it was that they they were raiding. The, you uh-huh. know, but they were the the sets. raiding. Yeah, yeah it we, was it was it was kind of like trying to wrap my head around that. I was just like, what, what the hell? It's like they're okay. They're putting out the movies, and people can buy the movies, and that's what they want to see. And um and but you're gonna get 
uh, uh, they were trying to go after the, the producers and stuff like that. Distributors. So, yeah, distributors. Yeah, it so, just seemed really. It's, it's just really strange that you know, they, they still could sell it, you know, and people can buy that stuff. And, uh, and then people were, you know, they were raiding, you know, sets and stuff like that. It just didn't make sense yeah. at all. But was it more exciting? <laughs> Did it make it more exciting? It You're an outlaw. Kind of, it was kind of interesting. Yeah, it was like, yeah, Jesse James. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So it brings me to the point. My question is here you are, the new gun in town, gunslinger, right? Yeah. Right? Because that's what you are, yeah. right? You're a gunslinger. So what would your name, if you went back to the old West, which gunslinger, famous gunslinger, would you be? Shit. Um, Want me to give you some names? Yeah, give me, right. give me a couple names. John Wesley Harden, Billy the Kid, Jesse James, who really wasn't a gunslinger. Yeah. He was a bank robber, but he right. had been in the war, so his gun skills were above almost all. Wild Bill Hickok, White Earp. Um, White Earp. White Earp, yeah. you want to be White Earp? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gun fight, okay, Corral? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's where I got my name. Yeah. TT Boy. Yeah. At the OK Corral. Okay. All right. <laughs> but he was, That's he what you think? Yeah. 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 I got okay. in Tombstone, Arizona when I was oh, like, shit. when I was like uh, 16. Really? Yeah. Oh. Was, you know, I was wondering. I, I never really, I, yeah. I don't know if we really talked about it, you know? Yeah. I was, I had, you know, yeah. ran away from home, whatever, you know, I jumped mm-hmm. in my truck and I went all the way to, all the way to Florida. Yeah. You know? Was, wow. Right. That's pretty Shit. crazy at 16 crazy. back in those days because yeah. there was no internet, no nothing. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I, I stopped in Tombstone and I always had this fascination with the Old West. Like sometimes I think I was part of it. Yeah. Right. And so I said, Billy the Kid. I said, Jesse James. I said, who the fuck would I be? And I was always called Troy Boy. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, then I would be Troy the Boy. Yeah. And I made a little wanted poster and I gave it to my girlfriend when I got back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For my long excursion. What did she, what did she say? Huh? Would you say, what would your girlfriend say? Oh, she was my girlfriend until I got back. Oh. When I got back with her, when I got back in town, she says, yeah. I missed you, I missed you. We started kissing, and it turned into some crazy heat that you never felt before, like, yeah. oh, like some really chemical reaction, like serious yeah. shit. Like it was like one of the hottest, you know, and I've, you know, fuck, I hit at least 12,000 girls, right? <laughs> and so it was one of the hottest you know, embraces or yeah. touches I ever had, even to this day. Yeah. And I think for her too. I mean, yeah. we were like fire. Her name was Shannon Tobin. You're hiding out there. <laughs> you know, I hit you. You, you, you get you had from back then. You know the name. Oh, I still so, remember number yeah. nine four two seven two five six. <laughs> right. And mother didn't like me. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. But um, mother wasn't very nice to me. But she, we had a hell of a uh, chemistry. That was Lancaster. You know, but anyways, so it's, you're a gunslinger, so you're going to be White Earp. Yeah. White Earp was a serious guy, and he was, mm-hmm. you know, a marshal. Yeah. And some say he might have been a little bit of uh, what side he wanted to be type marshal yeah. to make money and stuff. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you might not have been White Earp because you seem pretty straight. Yeah. But anyways, you never know. Money yeah. is a root of all fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and, and evil. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the yeah. opposite. But, um. Yeah. This is the question that goes with the gunslinging. How'd you get your name? Oh, yeah. That was uh, after that second movie I did uh, mm-hmm. where I met John Leslie and, and he, he said, you know. You're going to be a star. Yeah. I said, fuck. I said, I got to come up with a name. Cool name, right? Yeah. You think you got to have a cool name? Because I, I really didn't know if I was even going to stay in the business. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like a thing that I thought about, okay, this is what I want to do. But I, I, it was just easy. It just... So it, it, I started off good, and once you, if you started off good, you're gonna you're gonna flow oh. with it, yeah. And I know I can have control over myself easily. If you know you can like get a, get yourself up, like get get a, get a heart on without just even by yourself without any help, and you're confident of that, then that will take away any kind of pressure. Because mm-hmm. if you get into pressure and you need to bail yourself out, I knew I could just take a, a minute or two, mm-hmm. and get my, and I'd be ready. Type of thing. You were so yeah, the second after the second movie, it was like, um, I I you know who I was I was, I was driving with Steve Drake. Oh yeah, Steve Drake. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Steve Drake actually had a, had a part in that. Like we were talking about, it, and I really? was saying, yeah, I said, okay, yeah, yeah. Peter goes towards is living up north, 
So Peter going north. But where Peter come from? Just um, saying that a Peter is a Peter, and it God's goes. God's punishing me right now because it's, it's my confirmation name. So it uh, it came in my head, and then, and then you you the Peter's your because someone actually I I remember uh, someone showing a uh, a um, a mitten for the for the penis. Uh-huh. And there's, they were saying Peter Heater and stuff like that. And yeah, so it used I, to be called I, Peter. It was, I, it was called, you know. Peter and then you get Salt Pe- Peter. Peter. Yeah. Remember, Salt Peter's yeah. in jail. They yeah. give you salt so you go down. Yeah. And and so I uh, so I said, Peter going north, and I'm from up north, so it like, makes sense. It sounds like a, a regular uh-huh. normal name. You know, there's nothing too hokey about it. You know, uh-huh. it wasn't, it was like it, it could play off as a real name. Yeah. So I was like, Peter going north, and it's like easy to figure out. I know. Probably most people got it. I figured it out. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's not hard to figure out, you know. But so. you know, it's um, you know, trivia. Now that we know Steve Drake helps you. Yeah. No. Right. He. I think he. I don't know if, how much he helped me in that, but he was. I remember he, us driving to some place to grab some food, or or because he was on that same set that he was uh, on that same set we met and we got uh-huh. along, and he was a pretty cool guy. He was yeah. actually a pretty cool guy. Seemed pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. One day he was talking shit about me. You know, so many people talk shit about Steve me. Steve Drake? Yeah, you believe that? Really? Yeah, I, you know, not once, but a few times. Because, yeah. you know, everybody started getting crazy at me because yeah. I was doing so well, right? right. Or whatever. Yeah. And so, you know, I liked him, but I was like, what the hell? You know, we worked together side by side right. a few times, but I, I had to confront him. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, I didn't want to, you know, confront him, but hey, you know, anyways. He said, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good thing for him to say that. Yeah. But, you know, he was cool. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, you know, man, people, are, man, so many people talk shit. But, oh, yeah. well, you know, what's new? So, you know, you're working in a time where I was watching all the girls, right? Because yeah. I was a big porn fan. Yeah. It was like I was a maniac, you know. By five years old, I was crazy about girls. Wow. Right? I was already, started you know. at an early age, you know. I started at a late age, you know. Yeah, I remember the girl down the street, Billy Jean. Oh, no, Billy. Excuse me, Billy. <laughs> Billy Jean's from Michael Jackson, yeah, but Billy, Billy was a Filipino girl. Brown. I always liked that brown. Whatever. She was beautiful, and I think that was in kindergarten, <laughs> right? Yeah. But in any case, is? I just yeah. used to go home thinking about it. God, if Billy likes me, wow. I'd be great, right? Wow. It's crazy how I like yeah. brown skin too. Yeah. But you have girls that I always wondered about, so I'm gonna knock them off to you. I probably asked you, but let's ask the people who know some of the girls from the '80s. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Let's knock it down. Of course, you, uh, you already talked about this one before. Candy Evans. Candy Evans, yeah. She's a sweetheart. Right? Yeah. Fat actually, one? I, I actually dated her. Uh, Did you? Off camera a little bit, yeah. Unbelievable? Yeah. She's such a sweet. Yeah, she yeah. was such a... Because I, I think she just got into business, and uh-huh. uh, Jim South wanted her to work with me because uh-huh. he knew I would be kind of cool to her and stuff uh-huh. like that. I wouldn't be too, like scare away and stuff like that and so uh-huh. i was like we were doing a uh, photo shoot we were doing a uh, photo shoot so uh-huh. we it got to know each other and we were just it was like, good. really passionate at, at the end of the photo shoot after when we were leaving we were making out like passionately it was like it was intense and then you went home with her uh not that not that time but you know she came down to orange county uh-huh. a few times and stuff uh-huh. like that oh, you and, made a drive huh yeah <laughs> 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 I, I, I liked i liked it um by the uh, orange curtain, I like to be on the orange curtain because yeah. that was like where I had my space. That was where I, I I cut off the my business. You know how like someone goes home from work, they they, they go home to their families, they go home to you know yeah. just regular yeah. life. You know, so they leave their their business at at in you know where it's at. So, yeah, it sounds like a good medium. You know what I mean? Yeah, just to rejuvenate. Right, exactly. Because right, the yeah. business can drain you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's it's done it to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I mean you yeah. got to be strong. It's, t- it's taking its toll on a lot of people. Yeah, we know there's yeah. a lot of people that committed suicide on both sides, men and women. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And, you know because it can drain, it can beat your ass. Oh yeah, you got to be tough. Yeah. See, I saw a documentary. Randy Spears was talking about how he he thinks the business isn't good. Yeah. And I said, wow. But I think every- he, didn't he, he become like. Uh, a little bit religious or something. Uh-huh. I thought I saw something on, uh-huh. on his. Uh, little, I'm not really on Facebook too much. Or social media. Uh-huh. T- I'm not really a big social media person. But I, at one time, I thought I saw like uh, uh, him and his, da- his daughter. Uh-huh. And uh, he, he's. A, I always thought Randy was a great guy, but I think he was getting a little more. Uh, uh-huh. uh, uh, Looked like he was getting a little more religious and stuff like that. So but, I, I have nothing. I have nothing to say about the business. Uh-huh. You know. 
you move on to other things in your life and, and other businesses and other different things. And I would never say anything bad about the business because oh. it uh, rewarded you. It was good. To, it was good to me. Beautiful. It was good to me. Yeah. And it was good to him because he was yeah. a person who they loved. Yeah. They loved as him. A, especially as his best actor right. awards. You yeah. know, I don't know how many he won. They loved yeah. him, period. Yeah. You yeah. know, he got Carle Blanc all over the place. Yeah. Anyway, so Ginger Lynn. Oh, yeah. She looked really cute. You told me before she was. I almost like I was almost gonna like try to, to try to date her. I, that wasn't my thing though. Like yeah. I was like I, yeah. I kept I kept my you distance. Know, kept my distance and didn't want to mix <laughs> work with pleasure. Well, that's what the business is, yeah. you know, work and pleasure. But um, I, I just thought Ginger Lynn was someone I could, like. I mean, she was at her peak. I was someone I could date. Yeah. You know, she was just, cute, huh? Uh, real sweet too. Sweet. Yeah, really sweet. Yeah. How was the stuff? Was whose stuff was better? Candy Evans or Ginger? Uh, I hate making comparisons. Yeah. You can't remember or no? I can't. I hate making comparisons. Okay. Because I mean, you know, Candy Evans is yeah. Okay, so there you go, right there. Yeah. Okay, so it's the next one. You know, I don't know if you remember this one. I think you must, because I saw. I think I saw you working with her. It's one of the reasons why I got into business. One night I was watching. Her, I was like, I think I busted ten times just watching it. You know, and within yeah. two hours, yeah. I was crazy. Angel Kelly. Oh yeah, yeah. She was, I, I didn't have the same kind of chemistry huh? with her as I did with Ginger or Candy. Huh? Candy Evans huh? or Ginger Lynn, yeah. But she was sexual, pretty. She's, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. She was definitely uh, sexy as hell. How about Sahara? She looked really pretty. Did you work with her? Yeah. She looked like, unbelievable, but tell yeah, me. she was good. She was unbelievable? She was good. Was she just beautiful? That and she was good. She was good, good. all the way. She looked like luscious. Before like, armor, I mean, before I'm. Um, like you to, touch her and you get like excited. Well, just what she knew, <laughs> what she knew how to do. Really? Oh yeah. Like oral. Yeah. yeah. She just looked something about yeah, her, right? Yeah, she was good. Like, like she was kind of like strong and quiet. She was good, yeah. Is that yeah. the way she was? Yeah. All right. She was good. How about Amber Lynn? Amber Lynn. Oh yeah. Amber Lynn was. I mean, her body was rocking. Yeah. Yeah. She, and, and at her at, when she was. You know, at the time, her uh, body was just her. I just looked at her. I stepped back and looked at her body. Uh, and I'm like, fuck, yeah. She was cool. Oh yeah. She, I, she, I, I, she's I, smart I, too, right? Yeah. I just sometimes step step out of the box and look at the, you know, uh -huh. and I'm like, fuck, okay, yeah. I had fun. I had fun with her. Next time we worked together, I have some more. Yeah. yeah. She seemed very nice, huh? Yeah, she was but cool. Here's a girl I don't think you worked with, but maybe you snuck it to the side. Blondie. Tony Montana's girl. Um, she has such a fat one. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. He wouldn't share. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. Yeah. How about, oh, you just told me earlier, you didn't get to work with Raquel Darian. I didn't get to work with her. I had a chance to be one of the, other than her uh, husband or boyfriend at the time. I can't remember what yeah. he hater. was. I call him a hater. Yeah. Um, she was starting to work with other guys, and I guess uh, Paul Thomas, the director, directing for uh, Vivid, right? Mm -hmm. Vivid, yeah, yeah. directing for Vivid uh, got a hold of me, and I was living in Newport Beach at the time. I think, and uh, I would be doing it. I'd be the first guy she would do a scene with, other than her her man, and it was condom and stuff like that. And I'm like, what? Oh, and yeah. I, I, but the, actually, the thing was, I had something scheduled. Huh. To sh I was scheduled to shoot, and that's one thing I didn't do is I wouldn't cancel on on one production company or, or one director to to work for another director. You know, yeah, right. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I had, I was, I was booked that time, and I wasn't really crazy about using a, uh, a condom as long as everybody was tested. It was rough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's gonna make it harder. So what about JD? Do you ever work with her? Asian girl? I don't think she was a big star, but I saw yeah, she was real I, sexy. Yeah, I, I, I think I did work with her. Right. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Anything? Yeah. yeah. She looked kind of like se yeah. sexual. Yeah, it was. It was, it was, it was good? good. Yeah. She has something about her. I yeah. Thought. Yeah. yeah, you know what's it, it's funny. Like uh, when you think of all the different, uh, you know, stars and, and big names and stuff like that. One of the girls that I had the easiest time to work. I did. I did like maybe three scenes with her in one day, at least, or two of the three scenes with her in one day. And it's it was so. I never. There was never a moment where really? I just didn't get like. It, it was never a moment where I, like I, I went down with her. Who? Bunny Blue. Really? Yeah. yeah. She's you, like you, you, normal looking. You wouldn't yeah. think, you wouldn't think, because she was cute. Yeah. She was that, I don't know, she's a little 
young girl look or something. Maybe I was a little perverted or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but, you never struck me as that but, guy. But, yeah, I don't know. But the thing Joey is, now. No, yeah, Joey now. Yeah, <laughs> well, not you. Yeah, okay, Joey. But uh, <laughs> no, the uh, that's interesting about her because that that's yeah. chemicals. It was it was so e she was I think she, because she was like real easy going. Mm -hmm. It just made it simple. Yeah. yeah, it's like it was so easy. It was so so comfortable. She made it, it, I was comfortable with it. Sometimes her. it's yeah. easier that way. Yeah. yeah, I worked with her once. I think. Yeah, it was it's just comfortable. So yeah, I think she was cool. Yeah. What about Christara Barrington? Oh yeah, she looked really. Yeah. Some say she was underage. Yeah. Did you, oh, hear, did you hear that? That's yeah. I hear. I mean, I don't. I, I wasn't I, there. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Oh okay, but she looked beautiful. Yeah. Was she? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Extra? Yeah. Yeah. Was it up on top? Yeah. It was up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. So how much were you getting paid when you first started? Are we no? putting out numbers? Yeah. Were we really putting out numbers? Yeah. Oh my god. Damn. Okay. Everybody, you know, you know what people used to think outside the business? Uh -huh. I, I met like some hot girl and then she had like friends and stuff like that, and I got to know the whole group of them. Um I was going out with this ah, this really hot blonde. But she uh, I won't give them any names, but she was like uh she was okay. She knew who I, what I did and stuff uh -huh. like that. And she um she got they all thought like you must make like twenty five thousand a movie or something like that. You know? <laughs> well, I'm you like, look like a superstar. So I'm like, wow, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I wish. Know, I know them, you know, because in in the early days, they, they, they were um, called comps. You do a comp scene. It was like uh, maybe a two or three hour scene, just a simple uh, scene that they would um, either put in a, in a uh, collage or they would, you know, I, I don't. It, it didn't have a, any kind of storyline or string where it was attached to anything else, so it wasn't part of a movie. Mm -hmm. And it was like uh, two hundred fifty bucks to do a quick scene. But the thing is, how are you going to complain when you're having sex and and you're having an orgasm and you get paid, you know, a couple uh, buck uh, two two fifty, you know? I got paid one twenty five when I first started, and let me tell you how happy I was. <laughs> Happy as hell. <laughs> so I was doing three or four scenes at a buck twenty five. One twenty five. Yeah. Oh, who were you working for? Ve. Remember? Oh my god. You. Yeah. I saw you there once or twice. Was but they must have paid you, sure? you a little bit more. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because I, I would. But they had. They more. weren't at paying that time, much. I probably would have paid more if you were newer. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you were newer, you were gonna maybe get paid a little less. I think the gym like sometimes would give you two scenes for four bucks, right? Four hundred. Uh, yeah. I think. Or 450 yeah, or 400? Like yeah, yeah. Maybe 450, yeah, right? Yeah. Something like that, right? Yeah, and uh, I mean, we, as far as like what we work for and, and what they get now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or what, right. or what they got. In, in, and we work. Where, when do you think the, the business peaked as far as what what money the, the guys were being paid? Well, I, I was one of the guys that helped bring it up yeah. because I was, you know, I had a little. I think it was in upset the, one time. Yeah. I said, fuck it, I'm going to raise my rate to 700. Right. And I raised my rate to 798. First scene. Rocco, of course, was getting paid money, you know. But I think right around that time, you know, maybe some people, you know, started, uh, not that many people doing it, but, you know, yeah, right late, around that time, late, a little late bit. Late 90s or yeah, late early 90s. 2000s. Mm -hmm. so, started moving yeah, up. Yeah, and, and even as you go up in the 2000s, it started, you know, rates started going up on the guys, like the thousand dollars. Because, you know, we, yeah, yeah. we had our own production companies mm -hmm, and, yeah. and distribution companies. And uh, and you could see the rates, like some, some yeah. guys, I mean, even like as of like, I don't know, like four or five, four years ago, there was some guy, uh, some guys charging fifteen hundred. I heard stories. Fifteen hundred, amazing. So I didn't hire him. Did they thank I us? Didn't hire him. Did they? No. Yeah. Did they thank us for help bringing the rates up? Yeah, I know. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think they got no, 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 I, no pat on the back. No, no, I, back. they don't got yeah. no love for us. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. Yeah. So, um, remember we used to go to the avocado ranch. Yeah, <laughs> way out there. There's so many movies shot at that avocado ranch, yeah. and I love. Uh, I never ate avocados back then, but I love avocados yeah. now. Yeah, I like. But there's so many. I mean, outdoor scenes. It was know? cool, right? It yeah. was trailer in the back. Yeah. Everybody hung out. I mean, war scenes and everything. I mean, yeah. you know, it's just yeah. I remember that place quite well. It was like in, in uh, Simi Valley. Uh, yeah, Moore Park. Was it Moore Park or yeah. Simi Valley? I think it was Moore Park. Way out there, going toward, we go through those Simi trees, Valley? yeah, yeah. towards the valley, toward okay. the back way. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they made that 126, I think it's called, or whatever the highway oh, okay. that veered off of yeah. the 101. Yeah, but um, yeah, they um, I remember seeing you do three scenes one night there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I think Jake Jacobs was shooting, remember? Oh, he's good, he's a good guy, he was, he's yeah. always made you feel relaxed, yeah, but he's remember, really he was much too happy to help somebody out that wasn't doing their job, remember. 
he was stunt. <laughs> he oh, was really? he was the super stunt. Really? Yeah. I, I I actually I did hear something. I heard rumors, but I didn't like verify it. Yeah. Yeah. So really, yeah. that's right. Okay. Now yeah. now you, you had now, to be there. Now it clicked in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I remember that. Yeah. He was yeah. stunt. Yeah. You know, and he was just like, all right. All right. Yeah. And he had yeah. no problem. Yeah. yeah. And he's doing scenes these days. Yeah. Right, that's, yeah. But he was a great guy. I mean, yeah. he's a great guy. He's a very good guy. I'm going to get him on here, hopefully. Very nice guy. He's yeah. wonderful, yeah. yeah. Nothing but good things to say about him. No, he was great. Yeah. Tell me about, you know, one wild story you have. One of the wildest stories in the business. You know, they have. Yeah, I mean, you had to see some wild shit and be part of something. Um, I don't know if it's really wild, but, you know, I, I you know how... Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Tracy Lawrence. What's her name? Oh yeah, here we go. She no, she was like, I, I, she was in the bedroom while there's another scene going on with Tom Byron, and they were just going at it, you know, like who's going on it? Tom, Ta- Tom Byron and, and, and Tracy and Tracy Lawrence. Yeah, remember they they dated a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean I wasn't there. Yeah. I mean I was you know before yeah. my time. Yeah, but um, yeah, and they were going at it and stuff like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and that was a wild story. They just going for it, having fun. Yeah, they're just going for it and have fun. But, uh, uh, but you know, like I guess when you know everything was got out in the open and stuff like that about what went, uh, you know, about her and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And she she claimed that she was you know using drugs or something like that uh-huh. and, and not really into it and stuff like that. But you know, it's but that's bullshit. You, you saw it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, it was, I was a witness. To that. She yeah. was like really having a good time. Yeah. yeah. She. I mean, to me, she looked like so hot. Mm-hmm. How was she? Um, I've seen her before makeup a few times, and I'm like, really? Ginger Lynn did it for, more for me. No shit. Yeah. So how was Ginger she? Ginger Lynn totally did it more for me. You work with Tracy Lords. Yeah. But in yeah. the scene, it was nothing. It was, yeah. It was not, I didn't no. Have that, no. I didn't, have, I didn't have like, if I were to choose, like, it would be Chris. It would be uh, Ginger Lynn every time huh. between uh, Tracy Lords and Ginger huh. Lynn, and they were at the time they were like the two big. At that yeah. one time, they were the two big names. Right, right. Against a war against each other, right? Yeah. The girls in the business, I always seen them love you. They talk about you, oh, Peter North, right? And I'd be like, what? What about me? <laughs> <laughs> but they did. They loved you. Did you know that a lot of girls really liked you a lot? I, I heard some stuff that, you know, this girl requested to work with me and stuff like that. And I, I just, I appreciate that. I mean, you know, I just, you know. Thank you for all the all the one all the, the the actresses the actresses that I got to work with because they they requested me because that that was uh, that was fun you know when when you when you find out that they request you yeah it gets you a little more into you know not just doing a scene not just work you yeah. know you're yeah, yeah. gonna go have some fun you know yeah no I mean you um you know if you like them it makes yeah. and they like you it really makes it a lot better oh yeah. You know, I mean, it's not even a question. Yeah. You know, if you know, if you like them. Yeah. If you don't like them and they keep requesting you, then yeah. it's kind of oh shit, I gotta work with her. <laughs> Joey used to say on set, he'd be like, "God damn, I need some good ammunition <laughs> for this next scene." Joey's fucking, he's funny as shit. He's he is, great. He's funny. He's, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's always been like, you know, he's always cool, right? He's he always cracked me up. Yeah. 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 He was a good performer too. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Joey, you know, I, when I heard I, back in the day before my time, he had a good pop shot. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's 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 some of the the old, uh, or I should say, uh-huh. the actors before me that really? blazed the path in the business. Yeah, that, that Joey had like a pretty good pop shot. Well, I saw him in some movie I think from the early '80s or maybe late late '70s with he, him and maybe Jerry Butler. He's a stripper and and he's doing karate and stripping in the scene. Who now, Joey? Yeah, I swear to God, I would believe them. No, oh, really? Yeah, I was like, "Wow, he can move." I was like, "Shit, yeah. he could have did something." He was loose enough, flexible enough. So he was doing yeah. it. I was like, "Fuck." Anyways, yeah. you know, I was, I was surprised. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. You know, because sometimes, you know, even I thought about it. Sometimes, sometimes I did because I was, you know, I overcame it, but I would see it. You know, what I mean, because I'd be in the business, mm-hmm. and then people, you know, I don't know. I was the kind of personality that, you know. Maybe they wouldn't always like me. Not everybody, you mm-hmm. know. I had a strong personality. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah, and they wanted more mellow guys, yeah. right? Was I a little bit, you know, high strung? You think? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Actually, you you kind of knew how to reel it in and bring it down, you know, 
tame it down to it. And but then sometimes when the action went go- was going, you'd be like, you know, destroying them. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it was like, you know, if if a girl likes, you know, likes it uh, like hard and, and like with a lot of energy, then you know, I, I, there was times when when we were doing scene, we were doing a scene, and I'd be with one girl, and you'd be with another girl, and I remember I, I'd be pounding her, you'd be pounding her harder, and I'd, I'd, pound, I'd pound the other girl harder, and, you know, <laughs> and uh, it was like... It was great. Yeah. But, but I was thinking, like, so the director has done all like me, right? Mm-hmm. So new guys would come in, right. and I'd be like, this guy sucks, but they're using him over me. It was very strange, right? Yeah. So how did you feel when new guys came? Because you were here before so many people. Right, but Tom and Mark, of course, were super strong performers. They were performers. We're here. Too, yeah. Let, me, let let it be known that Mark Wallace was a super, super strong, great performer. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. what do you think? He was a uh, uh, he was uh, uh, he was definitely. Um, you can rely on him. You can rely on him. I, I he uh, there's times when he couldn't. Um, I'm not gonna say he couldn't get out. He always got it up. Uh-huh. There's times when he had to get off before he right, right. did the scene Pre-ejaculate. because he, he was he was too sensitive. Yeah. That's true. So I remember he, he, I he couldn't he couldn't uh, pound pound that shit like uh-huh. so, yourself, yourself or myself. So, yeah, so it uh, takes him down one, huh? Right, yeah. kind of. Yeah, and Tom Byron was very strong. Tom was always consistent. Yeah, very strong, very but strong. he didn't have the power. Right, yeah. I don't think the no. super high power. No, but he, he but, would he was consistent. He was yeah, very strong. Yeah, He's both, strong. The both I think they probably were on sets together more than anybody. Uh-huh. That, that that team. I was on set with Mark a lot. Were you? We worked side by yeah. side a lot. Yeah. Maybe me and you a little bit more, but me and Mark a lot. Yeah. I don't think Tom wanted to work next to me. Really? Because <laughs> I didn't see him too much. Near <laughs> <me>. <laughs> really? So what does that mean, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I work with anybody. I yeah. work in a gang band. I work with anybody. I didn't yeah. really care. Yeah. You know. You know, it didn't mean much to me. Right. Because I was ready to just happy. Hallelujah! Thank you for I letting know. me come. I know. I know. Right. And so, the gangbang um, shit, I, I wasn't so much into. Yeah, no, yeah. they weren't easy, but I didn't yeah. really care. It, it was like a self masturbation thing for a while until it was your turn to get Pretty in. Pretty much, yeah, right? Yeah. You just beating your thing up, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But um, so, how did you feel when the new guys came? Because new guys came in, John Doe came in, um, Randy Spears came in. I got along great with all, with all uh, these. At that time, TT Boy came in. Yeah, I got along with all you guys. Did, but did you ever say, these guys are taking some of my work? No. Nope. No. Nope. I never looked at it that way. Nope. I, I I always felt there was a, there was enough work to go around, especially for the guys, because mm-hmm. there was always more girls coming in. They were always looking for that new girl, that new mm-hmm. face, and stuff like that. And it would it, that girls didn't last as long; they wouldn't stay in the business as long. When you think about it, and um, and I thought, okay, new blood and stuff like that, and and these guys are cool. Hey, you know, every, all the power to them. I I always I always wish them. I, I didn't try to mess with them or try to, you know. Uh, that's with their heads or anything like that. I was like, you know, just never looked at it as competition. That's that's and that's kind of like the way I am naturally. You know, when I went to clubs and stuff like that, I didn't look there was a, if there was another guy that was, you know, the I thought the girls might be into. I would pay attention to any of that. I, I, that let him do his thing. Yeah. I don't even care. You're not. A, I don't even. I'm not competitive. Like you're that. not a CB'er. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. a cock blocker. Yeah, no. Or I a just, salt thrower. Yeah. Now, if I see someone talking to some girl and, or trying to hit on some girl, I let them do. Yeah. I don't even bother with that girl. I just go, you know, another way and see. You know, there's there's just a lot of. It was so easy back then. It was just. Yeah, it was you know, beautiful. Yeah. So you're more of a let 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 live guy. Live and let live. Let live and let live. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. your motto. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel that way. You mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Mostly, you know what I mean. Yeah. But um, all right, I have a story here. Yeah. We were um, working on the set. With, for John Leslie, right? Mm-hmm. With Savannah. Mm-hmm. Remember, we played Brothers, Lay in the Ghost. Yeah. So we're brothers. Like, I think it's 1991. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's way back. Way back. Right? And so after the scene, you know, we both worked with Savannah together. Right. Right? Two brothers. Right. Whatever. Yeah. We always did that brothers, yeah, you know. I know. <laughs> brother stuff. And so um, afterwards, John is on a set, and he's messing with you. And he says, Al... You're not, you know, your dingaling's not as big as you think it is. There's a lot more guys out there. <laughs> and you're like, ah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't really think you were saying it like that, but he was. Right. You know, yeah, you, I, I don't remember it, but yeah. but yeah, he's probably just kind of fucking with me. Like, yeah. He does it at times, you know, dry humor. He's, 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 he's pretty funny because I stayed with him and his wife in Mill Valley where he, where he had his place and he had his garden in the back and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, I stayed. he was nice enough to let me stay there. 
uh, one time beautiful area up there in, in San Francisco, across from the uh, uh, from San Francisco over the uh, Golden Gate Bridge and into Mill Valley right there. It's it's pretty nice up in the hills there. So, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, uh, God bless him. Yeah, man. I hope he's rest in peace. His wife's a very nice person. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So, all these scenes, all these girls, right? Which girl? Do you think I know? It's kind of you'll say oh, I can't say it, but let's. I want you to pick one and be real. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Who was the prettiest girl to ever work in the business, act, and become a porn star? I've heard some people say one girl, mm. similar to the girl I just said. But who do you think? I mean, I'll give you some names, okay? Uh, okay, I'll say Savannah, I'll... Shauna Grant, Jenna Jameson, Chasey Lane. Who? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw another name that I don't know if you have it there or not, but Janine Lindemeyer. Really? Yeah. She she was a pretty. She had really? a, she had the face stru a structure of a model. Huh. Yeah, her facial features. Uh huh. Yeah. Really? But the, ah. gir the girls you mentioned, yeah, this is, this is quite a, a, a top team. So I, you're I, picking Janine? I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm just mentioning Janine. I'm okay. just, I'm, I'm putting her in the mix. Over Savannah? Uh, I'm just putting her in the mix. Okay. Shauna Grant, yeah. I, I, I didn't see her. Shauna Grant. I, I didn't, I didn't meet oh, okay. her. Yeah, it, was, it was a little before my time. Okay. But, um, and I'm trying to think of some names of some, some other ones that maybe not have been a big, as big a star, but they're really... Chasey had a hell of a face. Chasey yeah. Lane in her uh, in her early yeah. peak years, yes. Yeah, but Chasey was like she was like that. She know, was like a model. Yeah, the brunette with really blue blue uh, seriously blue eyes. Yeah, crazy. Um, I I I never really. I can't really say a, uh -huh. one particular one because they're kind of like they have their own. Their own little thing, you like know? a piece of pie, strawberry, yeah, yeah. blackberry, yeah, exactly. blueberry, yeah. But you know, different yeah. flavors. I mean, they were just like you know, really. Uh, Jenna in her in her in her heyday was you know. Jenna had the really cute look. She had yeah. she had a, a, a sensual. Uh, she was just she had a sensual. Oh, she was great. Yeah. She was sensual, sexy look when she she was. Yeah, she I, had something. I, I was signing with her for a, a few times and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, and you know who reminds me of her. Um. A mainstream actress, if I can mention the name. Yeah. Amber Heard. Oh, really? The one that married uh, yeah, uh, John, Depp. John Depp. And when I saw her in the movie uh, Ghost Rider, I, uh -huh. I think it was Ghost Rider with uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh -huh. That's who really? I thought of when huh. I saw her. I was like, damn, she looks like a young Jenna Jameson. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, Jenna was great. You know, yeah. for me, she was yeah. nothing but a pure angel. And yeah. something about her, when I work with her, yeah. she had some really good stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. when I work with her, she used to make my thing grow a couple inches extra. <laughs> she she had she had like a, a very uh, sexual mind that knew how to push buttons. Yeah, no, but was... the what I felt, you know, that when you touch them, you know, yeah. you touch and feel Jenna, you know, I used to, uh, yeah, you, you know, yeah, she was, she used to do something. I wasn't she in was the blondes. To the touch. I wasn't in the blondes, but Jenna was yeah. work for me. You know, yeah. it was good. Yeah, she was. Yeah. I, I say like because you, you're you're naming off you know there's there's a a couple that I mean Raquel Darian was you know yeah, I mean, when you get to work with her yeah I mean but uh, if you're just naming off you know different if you're naming off the girls they work with or or girls in the business because you were saying girls in the business you know yeah. that came in the business so you you're putting I think it's a clump of, uh, it's a it's a group of girls you know if you, if you really put it put it down to it, it's it's a, it's a group of girls what do you think of Savannah. I thought she was hot. I huh? thought she was hot. Yeah. So just hot, and not like out of this world. Um, I mean, her face and stuff. I uh, the first the first uh, breast implant she had, the first boob job, mm -hmm. I thought was it was unbelievable. I thought it was great, and then she wanted to get bigger type really? of thing. Yeah, I don't oh. know why. Is she had two. She, yeah, oh. she said more than one. So I mean, she went bigger or something. But don't mess with perfection because they oh. were like they were like perfect. Oh, I, and I, I did a, a still shoot with her where for. Um, um, Roy uh, Alexander. It? Roy Alexander. Or Roy Brewington. Or Roy Brewington. Which yes. one was it? Um, Roy Brewington. Roy Brewington. Yeah. We used to work for him a lot. Yeah, yeah. Up there in um, San Bernardino. Yeah, 
Yeah. I liked him. He was a cool he guy. Was, he, he was the English chap, right? Yeah. 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 yeah he had yeah. a little uh, attitude, but he was a, for me, a straight shooter. He was yeah. cool. Yeah. You know, so thanks, Roy, for using us a lot, using me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. I raised my rate. He didn't want to pay it to a, a rate that was too oh, okay. high or, right. or whatever. Right. But I mean, he used me here and there, but, right. um, you know, he was cool. He was great. So yeah. I appreciate all the people who gave me work. So. Yeah. Nothing but respect. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. My, Michael Carpenter, Michael Carpenter was one of my favorite directors. Yeah. But I want you know, of course, well, there's shh, these people. I don't, you know that unbelievable directors. Like, yeah. I'm not going to say their names. I want you to tell me who your favorite directors were, and who you thought was the best director or best directors. I, I tell you right now, John Leslie. I thought was the John best Leslie. Director. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Who uh, else? Um, oh, man. I'm trying to jog. I'm so, you know, lack of sleep. I haven't you know, slept too good in the last three days. But um, I'm really tired. But I'm trying to think of, you got a better memory. You got like a, a I'll name much, them. Yeah, just, just throw me some names because you got a much better memory because I've been like doing so many things, mm -hmm. you know, with other things now and mm -hmm. going on. So, yeah, just kind of throw some stuff at me so I can. Henry Pichard. Oh yeah. He yeah. was yeah. Lovely person. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He was he was definitely, you know, he was definitely looking for performances and good performances. Yeah. He used to call me the Michael Jordan of porn. Yeah. Right? He was always so he's always very nice to me. Yeah. That guy was really cool. Yeah. He had a Henry Henry Yeah. He must, Henry, have, Henry, yeah. He must have liked me, but that guy was he I call was, him Henry he Packers. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Um he was he, he laughed it off. Yeah. yeah, he laughed it off. He had yeah. a really good voice and really good hair. Yeah. Yeah. The hairline came down to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? It was great. Oh, yeah. uh, Alex Dorenzi. Oh, Alex Dorenzi. Right up there. Alex Dorenzi was great. He was cool. Those Frisco Just, trips. Oh, my God. Alex Dorenzi, I got nothing but good good memories. It's just, he made it, he made it, you feel so comfortable. He was, uh, uh, who, 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 he made you feel comfortable and me. But you ever hear him? Get that lamb noodle hard or get the fuck out of here. I never, you know what? It's so weird. As many times as I've worked for him and done scenes for him, I've never seen that that other side. I've only seen the very mellow, cool, just cool side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he loved you and he loved yeah. me. He was just so cool. He was like, almost like, Dude, I was going to say, you want to adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? He's a real guy, you know? He would f street fight, too. Yeah. I think he was a real dude, you yeah. know what I mean? He was a pioneer. He was, like, way well, back. I think he's back he, from the late 60s. He was, like, right at the beginning. Yeah. No, he, he was, was in Time Magazine. He was in right at the beginning. He bought a, a, a yeah. Navy ship and sailed that, it around the world. Gonna, I was going to mention that, yeah. 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 He that's was cool. crazy. Great guy. Yeah. Loved him. Yeah. Paul Thomas, director. Paul Thomas. Vivid, I mean, you yeah. Yeah, he, he, was, he was good, yeah. He was great. Yeah. Um, Michael Carpenter, I mean, I, you know, we loved him. Yeah. You know, but yeah. I don't think he was on a level of director as those guys. Well, he wasn't, he wasn't really doing films. Right, yeah. but you know, he was a great person yeah. to work for. He was wonderful. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was great to us. Yeah, yeah, he was great to us. Yeah, he was yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, so I think those are the, I mean, you probably worked for Gerard Damiano, right? Yeah. He was cool. Yeah. I mean, he's the guy that did Deep Throat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What about the girl, Danielle? The blonde. She had a real fat one. Blonde, kind of hard body. Not a super pretty face, but she was in your time. You had to work with her. And mm -hmm. Stacey Donovan. Stacey Donovan, yeah. Oh, was she good? She yeah. had a fat one, too. She's yeah, beautiful. but you know what? I remember when you th when you bring up the name Stacey Donovan, she was really pretty. Really pretty girl. Um, and she, uh, the thing that, comes to mind right away. I heard about it. Is, um, you know, me, I don't know if she knew about my pop shot or not. Oh, okay. And then she just like, um, when the pop, you know, because they want to see the pop shot. So uh -huh. she was, she was taking it to the end uh, and it just nailed her in the eye from, I don't know, like, far you know, away. A few, few, few feet away. It wasn't like far, far away, but it was just the velocity just uh -huh. nailed her in the eye type of thing. And so like, uh -huh. I didn't like, like, get my job i didn't you know well i wasn't happy about it but it was like whoa and that's what i think about like when i think about that her getting nailed in the eye I'm like ah, oh, fuck. i didn't mean like i didn't mean to do that i can't like aim you got her in her eye but to me she looked really pretty she was a really pretty girl like uh, that that naturally pretty yeah. face you know tall right tall no boobs no boobs no boobs 
Yeah. But the face. The face was, yeah, it rocked. And her stuff looked really puffy. Yeah. And how was it? It felt great, yeah. Great? Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, yeah. she was what she it really, looked like. Really tight, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You wouldn't oh. have been able to handle it. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, it would have uh, drove you nuts. You, you probably would have just came and then, then really? continued on. You know? <laughs> wow, huh? Yeah. Do you ever work with Kelly Royce? Um, what'd she look like? She was a blonde, kind of cute, pretty cute. It's one of my first scenes. Yeah, I think I might have. That name, the, the, it, it, it she sounds, was real. sounds she, familiar, yeah. She made me mess up with for Alex Renzi. Oh, did she? Yeah. <laughs> but I told Alex. She got I mean, you going on purpose? No, it was a gangbang, you know, out there in Frisco in a yeah. warehouse. And yeah. I was probably my third or fourth scene, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, you know, with all these stars, right? And yeah. I'm like, you're up. Well, because we're all switching. And she was so great. I was like, oh, shit. And Alex looks at me and he says, oh, no. He says, like, you amateur, right? He didn't yeah. really say it. He's going, because he don't got time. Yeah. I said, it's cool, man. I can do it again. Yeah. Right? So I was ready in about one yeah. minute. And that yeah. was that. Yeah. And then he was happy. See, I never, he's always, even like if, if I was a little slow on the scene, if I was like, it, it wasn't my, you know, it wasn't my day com like completely, uh -huh. he, uh, he, never, he never gave me any grief. He was just... Uh -huh. He was so like, yeah. like I was. I felt like I was his son. Yeah, you know, he just was so cool to me all the time. Really cool person. He was cool, man. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. So yeah, so how many movies do you think you've done? <sighs> I, I, you know, I hear these numbers spelled out all over the place. I, I have, n I don't even have a clue. Uh, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, it's really kind of. I, I never, I never tabulated like how many movies. Yeah. You know, some people may have. But I never really got my movies to look at yeah. and stuff like that. I never really, I didn't really watch my movies too much, like at all, hardly. You know, because it was weird kind of watching myself. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I, I looked it up today. It said you did 2,100 maybe, something like that. But, you know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows really yeah, from who, who before? Who really knows the exact numbers? I mean, someone, was, I think there was some guy in the business that, not in the business, but he, he was a big fan of the business. And he was uh -huh. he, That was his thing, he, uh -huh. how many movies someone did type of thing. So I think the numbers were up there, but then you think about it, if you, if you did two scenes, you might've done two or three scenes in one movie. Yeah. So, yeah. so how I many mean, scenes have you done? So if you're looking yeah. at scenes, yeah. then it's, you know, those, it could be those pretty high numbers. Yeah. yeah. They said I did 1900, but I managed to do two scenes in a movie too, you know what yeah. I mean? But I, I didn't work, you know, I, I got out pretty quick, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, not pretty quick, but I did 17 years. You did a lot in that time though. Yeah. I mean, you but, squeezed a lot in in that time. But the truth is, I only really worked professionally for about eleven years. Really, right? Ten mm -hmm. to eleven years, yeah. about eleven years. Well, really, about ten years. Yeah. So then I did my own stuff. I wasn't doing too much of it because I was doing, you know, all the producing. You were, so really, you, I squeezed you camera and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, too, doing yeah. all kinds of crazy. Yeah. You were doing everything. Yeah, like, one man crew. <laughs> Fuck. All around the world. I don't know if anybody worked as hard as you. Yeah. 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 People who would trip out because I could. Stay up for four days straight working. I know. You know, in yeah. Europe and yeah. South America. You know, I traveled yeah. the world everywhere. Yeah. That's a good. That's one good thing about the business too. You got to got to see Europe. And, you know, yeah. Went to Italy a couple times. You did. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about those it, trips. I went to Italy a couple times. Czech Republic, uh, Hungary. Uh, you know, I was in Budapest. Uh, took an old school train from Czech Republic to, to Hungary and stuff like that. And oh, yeah, I did that one. Yeah. Germany. You know, for the uh, uh, Venus Fair. Their, mm -hmm. their their version of the AVN show right, in right. Europe, you know, type of thing. So, it was it was really uh, kind of interesting for history because you know looking at the uh, this one church that was bombed and and the bullet, you know, the chips of bullet off the off the stone and stuff like that. World and, War Two, yeah, maybe or something. Like yeah, World War Two. Yeah, I yeah. was. That's what I was kind of uh, and seeing some some things from the Third Reich. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was took you back in time, took me back in in, in high school. And junior high and everything because I was like a big history you know oh, right. geography and history uh, that's the two subjects I didn't really mention but I think it was that was more in junior high uh -huh. the geography and history so because uh -huh. you know I think a lot of people really if they're if they're living in California they're almost in, like in a bubble they don't know a lot about uh, other places unless they're from another place right you know because when I say I, I'm, I grew up in the east coast of Canada they say oh uh, Toronto or Montreal and that's not the east coast that's Eastern Standard Time, but it's not the East. Co it's not completely East Coast. 
the East Coast is, you know. Near Ottawa too, right? Ottawa's in Ontario with Toronto. Oh, okay. It's the capital of Canada. And so it's not the East Coast? It's not the East Coast either. Okay. Yeah. My sister lives in Ottawa. One of my oh. sisters, yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, the um, the places I got to, you know, Hawaii, we, we shot at Hawaii, in Hawaii, I think it was called Hawaii Vice. And they got busted. Somebody, somebody, Jim said. I, I, I don't something think about, that, yeah, something happened, but it didn't happen when when I was. Didn't happen uh, to you. Yeah, you yeah. slept by a lot, right? Yeah. I, I, I just <laughs> got, got out of there. You know, just getting out. That was it, you know. But uh, I, I remember being on a catamaran and, and uh, us, uh, we're, going, we're going to some beaches to, to shoot, but the, the swells were too big. The, you know, so the, the waves were too much. So we couldn't, they only shot one scene. Oh, yeah. They only shot one scene that, that they, on, on uh, uh, and we could just watch the spinner Hawaiian dolphins j- jumping in front of the boat and spinning around up in the air oh, yeah. in front of the catamaran, yeah. And well, they flew me out there one time for Vivid. Mm-hmm. It was cool. Um, who was, the, the director was Scotty? Fox? Scotty Fox, yeah. For, for you, not for me. But yeah. Scotty Fox used, yeah. used us a lot. That's what he. That's who shot for Hawaii. Moonlight. Didn't Hawaii. you shoot for Moonlight a lot? Yeah. Or and Legend he, and Moonlight. Yeah. And and, and that, I, think I don't so. know who who did he did Hawaii Vice, but I don't know who mm. the, the production company was okay. on that movie. But that was a budget, you know. That it was it was shot in, in the island of Kauai, and so it wasn't like you know it was like a little more private island. So we were mm-hmm. we were we were staying in a, in a house. I remember staying that's in the two smaller houses, island? Made, like two. That's the smaller island. You know, that's not as it's got Princeville is, is on the island. Like you know, it's not like mm-hmm. too populated. That's the less populated of, of all the islands, actually. So you liked it? And it's beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think they shot some uh, stuff from uh, um, Jurassic Park there. If I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken, I think there was some serious waterfalls, and there was. I mean, we were we were using, in that movie. We, they had a helicopter and everything, shooting shots from the. Uh, all right. You know, yeah, because I I know that we were. Driving some little Suzuki Jeep, going through the cornfield or the sugarcane fields, and don't mess with the sugarcane fields out there. The, the fucking drivers and the trucks will run, will run you right over. They'll go right over you. I mean, so so we were just dri- we were just driving, up, and there was like we don't we were just blasting through there, and there's like cracks in the in the in the cliffs and everything. We were just like kind of like fucking just. I don't know if there was a lot of prep done. You know, for doing some of the action s- stuff that we did, mm-hmm. but oh, we, we, got we, could end, we could end up off a cliff or, or you know, in a in a, ca- a crevasse or something like that. You know, th- in the middle of uh, uh, the crevasse. Yeah. yeah. So it was. It was, was. It was interesting. It was fun though. Was Kasha on that set? I think she was. Right, the Francois Kasha. Yeah, I think did so. Did you work with Kasha? I, I worked with her. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. looked pr- like she had a she, really nice she body. She's such a fucking sweetheart. She looked pretty sexy. His stuff was good. She was sexy, and she was like, she's just so, she's just a, such a nice, sweet girl. Okay. She was just a sweetheart. She'd do anything to, you know how like, you know, lo, uh, a lot of girls in the business, and I don't know if people know that that they let the guys like, you know, they had to get their their wood huh. their on themselves and and no with no help from them type of thing. And, oh, yeah, right. You know, I like it when it just happens naturally. You just get into it and you do what you normally would do, type of thing. You know, make you start kissing and stuff like that. But Kasha was like. She was willing to, yeah, you know, help you go. You know, she liked you. Yeah, get ready and stuff like that. Yeah, she well, was, a lot of people liked her. Yeah, she was. She was. She was sweet to a lot of people though. She yeah. was really nice. Was yeah, yeah, it was yeah. her personality. She was really nice. PT made a statement, right? And I don't think this statement applies to you, uh-huh. but he said, and I said it earlier. Mm-hmm. He said, "What good is sex without drugs?" <laughs> Did you ever see him partying on set or look a little buzzed? I've never seen him. No, I've never I seen him party on set. Me no. neither. I never yeah. saw him ever. I'm serious. Yeah. But you work side by side with him in the scenes, right? Not too much. Not too much. Not hardly at all. Difference. I don't even know. Maybe, maybe once. Oh or, yeah. Okay. Like I mean, yeah. Okay. Just, that's the whole thing. Is like um, Eric Edwards and and um. Paul Thomas and Jamie Gillis. I I, I was on. I was in the same movie, but I, I wasn't. I I don't. I think they like to work alone. Yeah. No three I, ways. Yeah, I like to. I think they like to work alone. Yeah. So Tom so. didn't want to work next to me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But we did do a scene together, and then we went best sex scene. But anyways, yeah. I know, yeah. Oh, when yeah. you're a, like a higher level guy, you don't really want to do that. But I didn't mind because I do whatever I was told, right. or not told, but you know whatever. Yeah. But um okay, so. And so that point was this, was sex on drugs great, or are you just far away from that stuff? I was far away from that. Yeah, never? Yeah, never? No drugs? No. 
Uh, <laughs> Brothers, let, come on. Let me say. Uh, let me let me just say this. Um, Tom Byron and, and, and Mark Wallace used to like their pot. Oh uh, yeah. Before scenes, right? And so they talked me into it one time. Oh yeah, oh shit. And I'm like, because normally, you know, I, I dabbled into smoking some marijuana here. Uh -huh. No big deal. That's it. Yeah. And and the thing is, I um, in my personal life. I'm fucking passionate as hell. And it's so intense, and it's just it's the way someone des it's the way someone describes being on E having sex marijuana. No, being on E ecstasy. Yeah, but for you, it's marijuana. Marijuana, it, it, marijuana was Do that, that for me. Yeah, that, yeah it's similar exactly, to me. Yeah, yeah, that's that. What someone because I never did it, so they uh -huh. they described it to me, and I'm like, damn, that's kind of like the way I am when I'm when I'm smoking pot. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just, it's just so intense, really? so fucking intense. It's ridiculous. But, uh, um, so what happened on the, on the set is they, get, they talked me into smoking some pot and it was the complete opposite. I was like, oh, fucking, oh it fucked me up. Really? Yeah. But I, I kind of came around at, at, some, at some point and I was able to do what I had to do. Oh man. You know, I got it done. I can imagine it pot makes me paranoid. Yeah. So if I'm on a set, I mean, I, I never did anything yeah. you're near a set, you know? That's the one time I, I did something, then the only time. Yeah, you know, fuck that. One you time see? they gave me some pot after I did my scene. Mm -hmm. I could barely drive out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't. Uh, I know, huh? I couldn't get yeah. high, man. Yeah. But people say, oh, yeah, the guy looks like he did a lot of drugs. How the they hell? Said that about you? Yeah, one of his. Because interviews. of your energy level. Right. Yeah. But how the hell, or because I could do all these scenes. Yeah. How the hell are you doing drugs and doing all that stuff yeah, with a no. focus? Yeah, no. It's impossible. No. You have no idea. People yeah. need to understand. Yeah. You cannot be a performer mm -hmm. on drugs, yeah. especially mm -hmm. the type of performer I was. Yeah. You know, I did a lot of work and it would be impossible. I would yeah. be, I would be like, you know, soft. There'd be no yeah. way. It's yeah. impossible. Well, Anyways. Yeah. So I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Look to your left right there. What do you see there? Um, looks like a calendar or some kind of... Uh, um. That's Jim's old board. Come on, that's up on his... To his left inside his office, right next to his I don't, desk. I don't, I don't even remember that. See that? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> that's Peter North. Yeah. That is the original board from Jim. And there's the card that you would... Use Fell out. that he would use yeah. to put in his book yeah. if he wanted to join. You know, you believe he gave that to me? Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I, I do recognize the uh, the modeling, the uh, you know, world modeling talent cards there. Yeah, they, fell, fell out there. To get on that board was a big deal. Yeah, you know, you had to be special. Yeah, but yeah, you know, what do you think of Jim South? Jim South was great. The best. He's a, he's a great guy. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. He, you know, has only the best things to say about you. Oh yeah, same here about him. He said he's, he's he was like actually I I've said it a few times. He was like my uh, second dad. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, you know, his birthday's coming up here on Sunday. Yeah, eightieth yeah. birthday. Wow. So we're gonna be there, right? Yeah. I mean, how how cool was World Molly? You really didn't go hang out like I did. I used to hang out there and. Yeah. And it gets smashed. Well, I was down in Orange County. Yeah, yeah. But I'll be so, up there with the girls. It was yeah. you missed out. Yeah, but you came with a town call sometimes. Yeah, it was you yeah. know real. I, I heard I heard uh, so, uh, about some of the talent calls. Uh, I heard uh, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were shooting cool. scenes before they even got out of his office. <laughs> I'm an animal. I know. Oh, you just don't know what the. I know. I, I know. I heard a lot <laughs> of shit. I heard a lot of shit. When did you retire? When did you stop performing? Um, April, or I think it was April of 2013, yeah. or July, July of 2013. It was, I think, July of 2013. Yeah. Huh. July of 2013. Do you, do you think that the performers of today will ever understand the difficulty of the big sets with no Viagra? How difficult it was? Or Cialis or injections oh, yeah. or anything. Yeah. You think they'll ever understand? Uh, that's why there was a limited amount of guys in the business back then. Yeah. There was a limited amount of guys in the business back then. And I tell you right now, if uh, if those things weren't around, there would be a limited amount of guys <laughs> even to this day. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we'd be calling us, right? Yeah. That's a 10,000 a scene. <laughs> yeah. Booyah! Yeah. <laughs> you think this business has lost its mystique? 
used to be mysterious when we started. And during different periods of time when we're in it. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I do believe it has lost its mistake. Uh, it's not like, yeah. I do be, I, I think it's just more of like a, of a you know, um, just, you know, shoot as much as you can, use it, you know, just using different people, da 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 da, da. It's just, you know, I, I just, there's so many, there's so much, there's so much more of a difference now. It's like, it's like everything is just, it's, it's almost like an assembly line now. It's like an assembly line. Yeah. No, yeah. there's, if like, I want to do an analogy, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm mm. kind of thinking assembly line. I hear these stories that there's yeah. not much love. Yeah. Not much love. Like yeah. when we were on a set, I mean, I was in love with almost every girl. I never acted like that, right. but you know, any girl that you know, just you know, I wanted to be there. You know, I was happy. Yeah. I was happy to get to work, and yeah. I appreciate everybody. Mm -hmm. But I, that's not the way it is today, right? No. no. I mean, even like years years ago, it was like you know, how how, how long am I going to be uh, on set? You know, uh, you know, how many yeah. hours am I going? I'm like, yeah, you're you're paid for the day, okay? It, you're getting good. You're getting paid good for the day. All right. I mean, come on. Let's not talk about when it's time for you to leave. You know? I, I never heard you say anything to a, a director pushing to get you out of there. Mm -mm. Never. And I, I've done like I've done come from Orange County and did scenes like ten o'clock in the morning and did my other scene two o'clock in the morning, a.m. Like yeah, you know, like it is now. Like the avocado, <laughs> <laughs> like the avocado ranch yeah, late. Yeah, or even the uh, um, the uh, studio on uh, uh, Canoga. Canoga. Yeah. Or even, uh, I mean, we had studios over there on North Hollywood. Yeah. Remember, we used to be there? Yeah. And then there was Springboard out there near yeah. Silmar yeah. or San Fernando. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think in the, in the, in the, as when I was doing my productions, I, th I think there was a lot more, um, or maybe I was just doing it because I wasn't doing films, but there was a lot more um, location shooting. Uh -huh. You know, I uh -huh. ended up buying a house up in Northridge in the Valley. And we you did? That. Yeah, we used that to shoot. You had house? Yeah. Oh, oh, recently. Um, yeah, and the, like uh, probably get picked up that house in two thousand six. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Cool. You make yeah. some money out? Um, didn't make any money in the house. Oh. Had to, I was upside down in the house, but uh, oh. you know the way the real estate went, and so um, got out of that up clean. Got out of that no no oh, problem. Yeah, that's cool. No problem at all. But uh, used it, used it for you know shooting a lot. So so all these years, all these glorious years. I yeah. mean. I mean, really, you're like the gladiator, the glory, right, for yeah. Rome, right? <laughs> oh, you had glorious times, yeah. you know? What would you say about the business? In you know, in a couple words, um, how do you feel about it? From my point of view? Yeah. Um, I think it was, it was, a, I think it was a, a fun ride. I think it was like, if you want to look at the different because I was in it so long, if you want to look at the di different decades yeah. and see the changes, it was pretty, it was pretty interesting. You, you just see the, it evolve certain ways or it, you may not want to see it evolve certain ways, but just things that, the changes that came about like throughout the hmm. years and stuff like that were, were, you could like think back and it's just, okay, I was a part of that and then I'm a part of this and I'm a part of this and I'm a part of that because of the longevity that I, I was like, like thirty some odd years in, mm -hmm. in the business, so big I mean, deal. Yeah, I mean that's a long, that's a long time, long time man. Yeah. So I mean, so basically, I I, I saw so many different changes. Yeah. You know, I, when I was in the business, I remember I had a, I had a, uh, it, this was the early nineties. I had like a, my I had a car that was had the. Uh, uh, monologue phone just had like a phone with a cord and 300 ZX, yeah, the, <laughs> the white one, the, the 93 300 ZX, yeah, white one, uh, pearl, pearl, pearl what, but yeah, white, yeah, so See, I got a good memory, yeah, and and had an analog phone, had an analog phone in there because there was no there were no cell phones, uh -huh. no cordless phones at that time, you know, and then and then uh, cordless phones came in like the the bricks. You know the big, the big right. blocks that, that you know, and then they, that that changed and stuff like that. So you see this stuff changing in, in in real life, but you also see it in in the movies and stuff like that. You see it in the the what they shoot. You see it in the actors. You see it in the in the in the, uh, the, the female talent. You know, like 
it just you just see the different changes and and it was i think it was a little more illustrious you know like you know how they say about the uh the, the um mainstream movies back in the day marilyn monroe yeah. and and these different actors you know um it's it's yeah it's like but so, so you're saying that like the decade before you're saying the 80 90s were better it, it's it's it's, it was good about each, each huh? you know, that's what you can you Each can decade? Do. You can compare, the, you can take the good out of each. Uh-huh. Out of each well, that's decade. nice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, But which one you like the best, if you could pick one? Which decade? Um, it was kind of mysterious and mystique in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And I only caught the, like, the almost like 84, so you want to talk about half the 80s. So if I, if I were to say the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Eight, late 80s, early 90s, like going up to 95 or something like that, yeah. How many people have come up to you and recognized you over the years? Uh, I can't even count. <laughs> but it, it, it's like, I never like think about it. I leave the house, I, I don't I don't think about like, uh -huh. you know, someone going to recognize me or something like that. And then, I'm at airports and it's like this. It's just, it's just, it's interesting, and I never let it go to my head. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like having, like I was, with, I was with a girl I dated, you know, personally, and that wasn't in the business. And the we went one to, that started with a J. When no. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> and she didn't yeah. like to, the piss yeah. on a toilet seat, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And 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 so I. And there was a closet full of clothes. To the side, no. pouring clothes to the side that you oh, kept on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a so, good memory. So, so basically, um, I'm like, I, we were at a club, uh, like this this club, and then we were leaving. I think we were about to leave or something like that. And these these guys were like, I guess they recognized me, and they were bow, they were doing bowing down shit. You know, I'm like, you know, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. Like, <laughs> I was like, Wayne's World. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, I was like. Basically, at that at, at that time, I was like trying to keep, be a low profile, you know. Oh yeah, and I, I, I would actually stop working for a period of time if I yeah. if I was in a relationship, you know. And oh I was, really? Yeah, I was oh. I was I was not uh, work as much. You I know? remember this time because mm -hmm. you were always trying to get out a little bit, yeah. you know, and you were not you were a little bit frazzled here and there. Yeah. You were stressed out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, because it, it, it you know it, it can affect your, your personal. Oh yeah, you know that's pure hell sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. If you like the girl, then you mm -hmm. got to go do a scene. Your heart's ripped you, up, and yeah, you're like, you don't want to do the wrong, you don't want to do the wrong thing, you know. You, yeah. you always want to do the right thing. Well, but if you're in a fight, this and that, and stress, it can be crazy. Yeah, people, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, I mean, I had, mm -hmm. you know, a girl that I burnt into my arm. You know, I burnt yeah. the girl's name, Amy, into my arm with yeah. fire with wow. a hanger in front of Jim. Really? <laughs> Serious? Really? Yeah, well, I wow. started. Jim, watch. <laughs> And flames and skin were burning right uh, in front of them. Uh, and I put in her name in there and it blew up about that big later on. Wow. But anyways, yeah. But I know, you know. Crazy <laughs> shit, you, man. You don't know, you know. TT boy. That's some crazy shit. Yeah. But um, let's go to lighter notes. Okay, yeah. let's go to some more fun. Yeah. Who's going to win the fight? Because yeah, you're a fight fan, right? Yeah. You're a big fight fan? Yeah. And you were in a few fights, just want to talk about it, but you were a natural, and you yeah. knocked him out, took him out quick. Yeah. Right? And that's a beautiful but thing. But I'm not a violent guy. No, you're never yeah. violent. No, I've never seen yeah. you violent. Yeah. But if you stab somebody, what are they supposed to do? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. No. So, <laughs> these are natural. So, um, you know, you're a fight fan. Who's going to win the fight? Earl Spence, Sean Porter. Coming up. Mm. Um... Spence, I think. I'm leaning a little bit towards Earl Spence. Yeah. He's rough. Yeah. He's beautiful. He's yeah. rough. Who? What was his last? Who did he fight? His last fight? His last two uh, fights? The, um, Mikey Garcia. That's, that's it was, the, and Mikey Garcia was undefeated. He's too small though. But wasn't he undefeated? Yeah, but he, he's too but small. he went up in weight. Right? Yeah, he's too yeah. small. Okay. You that's, know, that's I, mean, what I, I, I remember. Yeah. I, not I, a fair fight. Yeah. And Earl Spence comes in crazy shape and yeah. precise. Yeah. Per, I mean, it's yeah. precision punches, you yeah. know, it doesn't yeah. stop. Yeah. He's on, he's very good. He's a, he's a, got to be one of the next big stars, yeah. superstars, yeah. not star, but superstar. But see, I don't like, I don't follow boxing now as much yeah. as the UFC. Oh yeah? yeah. So, all right. So let's go. So let me ask you this question. If you were, you know, a young guy, 
maybe came in from Canada, you're 23, 24, 25, whatever, mm -hmm. and you saw there's money to be made in the UFC or in a boxing ring, MMA. which one yeah. would you go? I would go MMA. I would go, really? Yeah. And what would you, what would you, what style would interest you the most in MMA? Um, I would, uh, I would go with, you know, uh, serious striking and jujitsu. Yeah. Yeah. Striking. Cause I, I got, I got range. I got, long, I got long arms. I got to reach and stuff like that. And I got like elbows that are like, like knives. Like razors. Yeah. And I remember uh, George St. Pierre, GSP, big fan. Uh, I remember when he Canadian, uh, yeah, he's Canadian too, from, brother. Yeah, and he when he was when he some of his first fights when he was doing round and pound he was he was slicing them up with the elbows. He was uh, using more uh, elbows in, in, in the earlier part of his career when he was doing the round and pound. You know, uh, I remember. Yeah, that. no elbows. If you can do elbows, yeah, you know, if you know how to use that range and get them off. Yeah, like uh, uh, Ferguson. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and he's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, John Jones is good. Yeah. Wow. John Jones is yeah. great. I mean, one of the best ever. Yeah. He's good. he's very creative, very creative. Yeah, he very yeah. He, he has a, a style that throws you off because he does different techniques mm -hmm. yeah. and different at different times. Yeah. So it's hard to time him. It's hard to time him, and because he does, uh, he does have an advantage with his height and his reach. His reach is ridiculous, mm. and uh, I think he could be like, you know, I think he definitely could be a better striker. I could, I think if any any part of his game can be improved, it's, it's striking. Yeah. You know? So, other than that, he's, yeah. Well, if he did power beast. punches, but I think what happens with power punches, you have to understand, is science, yeah. right? So, you have a circuit in your brain. This is what I was taught. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you try yeah, you, it out, you, you'll you, see. You work with some trainers and stuff. Like yeah, that, I did yeah. a lot of, you know, training. Yeah. So, if you overload the circuit, there's mm -hmm. a drag and a recuperation time. Mm -hmm. So, in order to get those big bombs... You got to use every, all the circuits, all yeah, electricity, right. and the drag, mm -hmm. you know, leaves you vulnerable because you got to react after that drag, right. and it's hard to get back. Right. Right. Yeah. So you see, John Jones, he never has any drag. It doesn't seem, you know, mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. he's in great shape, but he he's does always, stuff nice and quick and sharp. He's always but, ready. But doesn't try to yeah. blow into a million, blow it out hard. Right. Yeah. You know, not like Tyson. Yeah. Paces himself well, yeah. Or the the strikes are hard, right. but they're not everything you got. Right. Right? right. You do right. everything you got, you throw off balance right. and all that. Yeah. You know? that's, that's true, actually. Yeah. 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 You know, if you, ah, you're stuck pulling back. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, you're leaving yourself, like, you know, a little bit, yeah. you know, yeah, you're vulnerable, just, yeah. Yeah, that's what big power punches, they okay. always get countered because they're going so hard and they, they got drag. You got drag going through your muscles and you get stuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's people like... Like in like I think of George St. Pierre comes to mind again. Like he shoots and, and takes down someone as they're throwing. I mean, he, like so perfectly timed. Like yeah. it's, that was one thing that that I noticed about him is Great. his timing on 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 takedowns mm -hmm. when they're throwing the shot is like insane. Yeah. It was like one of the best, yeah, if not the best. Yeah, who's your favorite fighter of UFC? Mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I did like uh, Anthony Pettis there for a period of time. Yeah, his radical I, stuff he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Part Puerto Rican. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Boricua. <laughs> Taekwondo background. And, uh, um, but uh, I um, I want to see Tony Ferguson and Habib. Right now is your favorite? I, I Well, I don't know. Habib is not, he's he's a beast. He's a killer. He's a killer. I mean, he's undefeated. Until someone can, can you know, stay in there with him, then, you know, he's, he's the best lightweight, huh. period. Yeah, you know? but he's your favorite fighter. He's not, I, he, I can't say he's my favorite fighter. Yeah, he doesn't have, he's very, he's he doesn't humble. have the Peter North yeah. uh, look. Yeah, he's humble and stuff like that. You know what but I mean? He, yeah, <laughs> but he, uh, no, star quality. He, yeah, he's a killer, but he doesn't yeah. have the something. I mean, he yeah. has everything. He's getting a following now, I'm telling you. What time is it? Habib time. Yeah, yeah, and that's what uh -huh. he's got going. The crowd says a beam time. Oh, know? he's a killer. Yeah, I mean, you so can't. He's, he's he's playing it up. He's he's working a little better now. Yeah. So yeah, but um, he's just not pretty. So it's hard to, yeah. if you're not pretty, There's, it's harder to do it. And you don't speak good English, it's right. harder. There's not one particular. You know, I I, I did enjoy McGregor when he was yeah. you know, on when top. He was on top. Um, yeah, he had his little charisma. His style. He just doesn't. He he, he doesn't have the uh, stamina. If he if you take McGregor and you give him one of the Nate, Power Nate or uh, Nick Diaz's uh, endurance, mm -hmm. if he had the endurance of Nick or Nate Diaz, or even um, what's the other lightweight the uh, from the East Coast the, short, the shorter guy, um, 
to beat uh, BJ Penn two times. Why am I not? Think, oh, uh, why am I not thinking of his the name? The guy from why Jersey. To me? Yeah. Oh, Edgar. Yeah, yeah. Frank Edgar. Frank, Frank Edgar. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's great. He's yeah, very his good. Cardio. Yeah. His well, cardio. Well, I mean, he's very uh, pr- um, technical. But his cardio and, and Nick Diaz's cardio and, and Nate Diaz's cardio is it's in, oh, yeah. it's insane. Well, I mean, Frank if, if, if if McGregor had that, uh-huh. I I I don't well I don't know what the strength of Habib just smothers you like a wet blanket. He's like uh-huh. yeah rough yeah yeah. So no, I don't know if I really have a favorite. I just have like certain certain uh, fighters that, that I enjoy uh-huh. watching. You know, who is the best boxer of all time? It, it could be before my time, but I, I kind of looked into some stuff. But um, Sugar Ray Leonard was one of the best, but Sugar Ray Robinson, because he, that was before my time. Sugar Ray Ma- Leonard wasn't before my time, but Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah, so does. I'm just comparing them both. And I'm like, Sugar Ray Robinson yeah. at, at his peak? Whew. I saw yeah. some old vintage footage. That was before my time, but I saw some old vintage footage of his, yeah. of his fights. Yeah, I mean, and, they say he was the best. Yeah. But... What about Roy Jones? Um, offensively or at his peak, I mean, Roy Jones was unbelievable. I mean, come yeah. on, you yeah. think he was unbelievable? Sugar Ray Robinson at his peak or Roy Jones at his peak? Yeah, that's Roy Jones yeah. is too fast. Yeah, and guess what? I met him. Right, yeah. he's pretty big. Yeah, he's a big dude. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, he's not. I mean, that's a nightmare. Those guys weren't as big as yeah, sh- as Roy Jones. Yeah. And he was, Roy Jones was so fast with people, I don't think Some they these, re- understand. Yeah. Roy Jones in his prime, he is the first guy to become heavyweight champion for middleweight. Yeah, that's I mean, true. He's, yeah. I mean, he's a real dude. He's done some amazing things, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, the, the sad thing is he just kept, he tried to keep his career going, and mm-hmm. yeah, that's past, yeah. way past his prime. He's a real fighter, and he way wants to fight. Prime, yeah. God bless him, right? Yeah. You know what way I mean? past his prime. He's yeah. like a performer who wants to keep performing. Yeah. I right? Know. I mean, I he know. is. I know. And he deserves all he wants to do. Yeah. He's given so much. One of the best pound for pound. Yeah, one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. I like, what about Trinidad? Do you like Trinidad? Trinidad was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I enjoyed that fight uh, at your place with Trinidad and Bernard Hopkins. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Over there in Granada Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, I didn't like it that much because <laughs> Trinidad lost. <laughs> I know. I know. But see, here's the thing is, I, I would say more about Mayweather and, and, Money Weather was like probably the best defensive fighter that I, I've seen. Uh-huh. You know, um, even probably better than Duran. And Duran was very elusive when he wanted to be. Roberto Duran. Great, right? Yeah. Killer. Yeah, but, uh, but you know, um, even if you stunned Mayweather, like, uh, like uh, what's his name did? Mosley with the right hand. Uh-huh. He, he, you have to like hit him with, you have to get a combination. You have to get more punches on him. And he, he was only stunned for a second. A couple seconds, and he was like, oh, yeah. did what he had to do as as a champion. So he he's he's one of the best. I don't know if I call him the best, but he some of his fights were great to watch. Some of his early fights were great to watch. Some of his later fights were I don't know. I mean, he fought De La Hoya, and I think De La Hoya was a little past his. I prime. was there. Yeah, when he was a little past his prime, I think I saw openings that De La Hoya would have threw a hook in that he was, you know. I I, I was there, and I thought yeah. De La Hoya won. Oh, okay. But you know. Yeah. No, I saw I saw on TV, and I thought there was moments that they really had like to to, to uh, in the early days that he would have got a hook in there, you know, that he didn't he didn't throw because he was like he was faster, or, you know, in his younger years type of thing. So Mayweather, as, as far as defensive, yeah, he was slick. Well, I think yeah. that Mayweather goes down as the slickest period. Yeah, yeah. When you want a slick New York slick or East Coast yeah. slick, Floyd yeah. Mayweather. He's yeah. from the East Coast. Yeah. Okay. Or I mean, close to East Coast. What do they call Michigan? That's oh, pretty. Okay. Yeah. Like East Coast yeah. kind of, but um, what actress mm-hmm. or a Hollywood beauty movie star mm-hmm. would you like to decorate? <laughs> um, that's From now now times or you know even before, what was the girl that really? Well, right now it's it's Kate Beckinsale. Oh yes, even at her age now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she's just beautiful. She is. Yeah. But do you see her in that movie with? With N- Neve Campbell when they were in Thailand. No. See, what, I, that was only about seen 20 her. years ago. Oh, okay. I've only it's, seen her in the, uh, the Underworld. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 20 with, years with the ago. the vampires and the, and the uh, werewolves. I, I, I kind of like that shit. Yeah. But she's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, she is. She is hot. Yeah. You know? Charlie Sheen's wife was pretty damn hot, too. Denise Richards? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she like looked like a Stacey oh, yeah. Donovan a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, she was. She was smoking at her peak. Yeah. Look, she still looks great. Oh man, I think she still looks hot. 
Stacy Don. I mean, yeah, not, not Stacy Don, but uh, yeah. Denise Richards. Denise yeah, Richards. She, she looks hot. So. Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. And that's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's probably there's probably some other ones from years ago type of thing that, but uh, you know, I'm just right now. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like every now and then, when I turn the TV on, it's like, um, like if something with Kate Beckinsale's on, I'm gonna probably watch it. So, yeah, she's hot. Well, I really um, kind of breaks my heart to say goodbye. Right? Yeah. I, comes, I, I comes get, the time and you gotta say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I just say, you know, it was really a wonderful being able to experience working side by side with you all those years. Yeah, and us becoming buddies. You know, what same I mean? here. Yeah, and he always you called made me. It, you made it a blast. I mean, yeah. you made it, yeah, you made it fun. So yeah, and I used to tell you about my fight stories. You liked yeah, them, yeah. all crazy stories, but um. And we had such a nice time, and it's over now. You know what yeah. I mean? We used to call me your little brother. It was yeah. fun, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is your bigger, badder brother, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, we had a great time, and we even even on 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 sets, like when we weren't working, I was holding the focus pads for you and right. stuff like that. You know, so it was, uh, yeah, it was it was some really good, really good memories. Yeah. Yeah, man, they're yeah. over. But you know, I just appreciate you coming here and yeah, spending no the time with me. You're, you're, you got some information out of me that I, pro I I think probably a lot of people may want to ask or they want to ask this, they want to ask that. So, you know, I don't spend that long a time talking, to, yeah. to, you know, I, I, if I got to go somewhere, I got to do something, I got to do something, you know? So, yeah. uh, but, uh, you know, I think some of the questions, some of the things that you, we went through tonight uh, is uh, some of the things that pr probably people were wondering about, you know, or had questions about. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not easy to get Peter North locked down. Yeah, I know. Right? I know. So, you know, and this is what we got... Three hours. Are you serious? Yeah, we've been going oh. for three hours. It's uh, yeah, I know my eyes are about to, <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. So well, man, I hope yeah. I can see you more often. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll be back. No, yeah, I'll here. I'll be back at an earlier time when I get some sleep, yeah. You know, maybe I'll yeah. buy some tickets to go see a fight, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. yeah see That'd a good be cool, yeah. UFC or boxing when it comes yeah. to town. That'd be cool. That I don't cool. know how good it is this to, to, I've only seen like the fights on TV. I've seen some uh, boxing live. But I don't know about the octagon, how easy it is to see. Oh, it's shitty. Yeah, that's it's what, hard. That's what I was thinking. But I think yeah. Sean Porter and Earl Spence might be in L.A. Yeah. So we're in L.A., you know what I mean? But yeah. um, So yeah. maybe I'll check those tickets out. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll I'm see, sure. you know, if I can afford them. Yeah. yeah you can <laughs> afford them. <laughs> well, it's TT Boy out with the great, legendary, very cool, down-to-earth, Iconic Peter North. Thank you, man. Thanks, brother. It. Thanks a million. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I wish you all the best. Yes. From you now too. and and later. Yeah, absolutely, okay? man. And good health. Yeah. Thank all you. Right. All right, man. Thank you. We're off. <sighs>